don't go firebomb the building and kill everybody involved. By the way, I'm referencing a movie a guy told me to watch yesterday about a guy that got so sick of this consumer scam. Oh my God, did he take revenge. You know, often on this show, we'll get a call from a little lady who lost everything. I'm serious. Now, I shouldn't make light of that. And I do, I want to go and I want to grab these guys. I don't want to kill them and firebomb them, except in my dreams. But what I really want to do is just get them, throw them in jail. And then in the middle of the movie, what did I do? I texted Suze and Mark. What did yes. I say? You got, Mark watched it last night. I fell asleep because oh, I got up early, oh, but Mark I, I, I watched gotta it. I got to hear what he thinks about it. Yep. It's called, guys, you got to see. I, first of all, I love Statham. I love him. He's a great... He's a nasty looking guy, a good looking he nasty is. guy. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I just love. So I don't know if I talk about movies, but this is a movie about, let's say, the troubleshooter on steroids. And anyway, it's called The Beekeeper. Jason Statham, I believe his name is. Uh, I think he's cool. I just think he's cool. And uh, you might argue he's not a great actor, but in any case, I digress. We, he, he takes revenge. And often on this show, God, I feel like that. I'm going to pull some. It was some, a great movie, man. Oh, Mark, were you saying. Now, who was it based off of? Do you know? <laughs> What's that? Who do you think it was based off of? I want to see if we're on the same page. What do you, uh, let's see. What do you mean based off of? Um, well, it was a president and it was their cocaine fueled son. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. I know. But the president was decent. She didn't know what was going on. But but yeah, she was out of it. I agree. So once again, who was it based off of? I don't know. And and Mark, I know what you're talking about. But but here's what they did. They took this computer lockup scam. You know, like your computer's locked up. Call this number immediately. They get access. Mark, we have actually handled those dozens of those problems. Yeah, it pops up on Microsoft and, and basically know, says, "Call this and number." We know what can happen to people. We know it. We've seen people lose thousands. We had a little lady that lost thousands this year. I just, I love the fact it is portraying the uh, Bidens. That's it. That's what oh, I loved about but you- it. But what about the show and the consumer stuff? Did you like it that he... No, was- I lo- I'm telling you, I love the whole movie. It's oh, so God. corrupt. It shows you how corrupt our government is. It's great. Well, yeah, but I, I took away that scammers are scammers and these guys, they had working for them. I wonder... Don't, don't you wish sometimes, just because what we do for a living, don't you have dreams of grabbing scumbags that yes. have taken every penny from an old woman yes. or an old guy and, okay, and I'm going to say it, Stephanie, you know... Listen, Stephanie st- has, woke, getting has involved. Waking me up. She, she, Stephanie what's the, woke me up um, uh, yelling because I'm, like, kicking somebody's ass. I, I, I'm serious, man. I, I'm like... I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I, let me get that wide shot here. We have Hannah with us from Fix It 24. Right. You can chime in, Hannah. But, but, but I, I, honest to God, Mark, I am like in my dreams. I find him and the guy comes after me, you know, and I defend myself and obviously. Oh, man, you make it. You, you're making it sound too easy. Yeah, you mean you, you run into him and you throw him off a building. That's what you're trying to say. But you're saying it in a very nice way. No, well, it depends on the severity. But I, I do have, I have some violent dreams, man. Like people, I, I just get so upset with people ripping people off mark we it was a great recently, movie recently that one woman 12 what was it Twelve thousand? no no it was more than that it was I, i've got to look at my call screener i mean it's a it was just recently and and how many times have we wanted to do something with these scumbags we've even gotten them on the phone where they will brag about what they do they brag about it now youtube is filled with people who have taken revenge on scammers by the way um there it is now the other movie that touched home for us hey what real quick you just mentioned something i'm going to try to reach out and get this guy i'm going to have kelly start uh bird dogging him to get on but he's a guy that goes after squatters he helps people um that basically have squatters in their house and they won't leave and the police won't do anything i have no idea how he gets them out but i'd love to get him on the show oh there was another movie Another movie that was made with uh, about public trustees. Do you remember that one? 
I do. I do remember that. And they were all in cahoots and they basically stole everybody's money. Old people's money, right? And then somebody came in and It took was people that were like in nursing homes. That's right. That's right. And, and they would and say they were crazy and they would take all their money. Yes. And um, there was a... Oh, you know who was really good in that movie we were talking about yesterday? I noticed her right away. I call her Mrs. Huxtable. It was the woman from the uh, Cosby... Rashad. Rashad, God, is she a good actress. Yeah. Okay, man. So anyway, you got to see the movie Beekeeper. It's streaming right now. Uh, I want to talk to Lee about his, his, his problem here, but I want, also want to tell you about waterpros.net. Um, the best water systems, lowest prices, like purified, wonderful water. And I got, a, I got triple filter reverse osmosis at the kitchen sink, $1,400. Anyway, let's go. And they're 303-862-5554. Lee, what's going on with your vehicle purchase? Do we have to go blow people up? I'm just kidding, folks. I'm not violent. I don't want violence. Only in my mind. Everybody thinks about that now and then. Okay, Lee, what? and I don't mean think about it like Well, I got a video. I got a video of you in studio with Mr. Bentley sitting across from you Uh and you stood up and threatened to kick his ass yeah he do you remember how he ripped off that woman it was the most outrageous in your face rip off i have ever encountered was that with the handicap ramp mark walk in tub or walk in tub that's i knew it was something to do with disability okay and we'll talk about that but lee what's going on with you lee what's happening Hey, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing this morning? What's hey, happened, bought a vehicle man? out of state uh, from Jim Norton Chevy in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Okay, brought it back I, to wait, Colorado. so this is where you bought it in Bro- uh, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma? That's correct. Was it new? No, it was a used vehicle. So what'd you buy? It's uh, a 2022 Ford F-350. Oh, that's pretty new. And it Diesel? Yeah, but new to us. <laughs> is it a diesel? Yes. Okay, Ooh. what's the problem? And brought it back, uh, did my VIN verification and emissions test, and uh, it failed emissions because it was deleted. So the dealer sold a deleted emissions vehicle. Well, hold on. I'm not and sure I'm just, what you mean by, first of all, is the, uh, they don't, I don't believe in Oklahoma. Do they have an air program? When you sell across it. state lines, they don't have to make it pass, I don't think. I don't think it has anything to do with... If they're selling outside of their area, they have no obligation to make sure it passes emissions. No, but it has to pass federal law, and that federal law has certain things, and I think what he's saying is, I don't know if they bypassed, like, an O2 sensor, for example. we're going to break this down. I want to know first. It was a 2022 F-350 diesel, and the name of the dealer again... Jim Norton Chevrolet. Okay, now, you're, are you claiming you bought this and now you can't get emissions on it because it's deleted? What does deleted mean? It means they um, pulled a part off of the vehicle that had to do with the emission system from the manufacturer. That's correct. Several parts they, they've, someone removed. I, I don't know who removed it, but it. But you bought it as is, were, didn't you? were removed. Did they make uh, note of it is, anywhere? Yeah. No. I see. I'm not but, clear but Tom, on their. Tom, they, I have to. I just know about this stuff because I was in this business forever. You're not allowed to do it. It doesn't matter what state. You're not allowed to remove okay, emissions but what parts. If, hold on. But what if they? I'm just playing here. What if they remove? They t- took this in trade or something, and they just sold it as is, and they are not the ones that removed it. I would. My understanding is they need to repair it or undo the deal. Well, and they want to okay, undo hold on. the deal. You're, Mark, I'm you're not talking. To. Uh, you're, hold on. We, we really have to be careful here. Are we talking federal law now, Mark? Because you don't know Oklahoma law. So you're saying by federal law, they have to, re, they have to fix it. That's right. By federal law, you cannot remove Can you look emissions at Mark, parts. Can we take a break here? And I'm not doubting. I'm asking if you could find a citation on that. If you can, we can then go back to that dealer and start pressuring them. Plus, I know Lee has a lot more to tell us, so hang on, Lee. I'm Tom Martino, 303-713-TALK, 303-713-8255. And remember, denverregen.com for weight loss 
it's they're doing the semaglutide and even terzepatide. Uh, they're doing lower than any price you'll ever get. Like a, a semaglutide is two fifty a month for weight loss. Check with your doctor, of course, before you get on any program. They have doctors available and all your supplies. DenverRegen.com. <laughs> This week's 30 seconds. Angela Zapata, CMO Hyundai Motor America, discusses measuring audio. The measurement capability with an audio, I think, surprised all of us. We have seen a huge return on our investment. Seeing real numbers has helped us continue to invest. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the data, audiences, and influencers you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResult. Coming in. All right, my turn, right? And I want to tell you about LazyDays.com, the RV authority. What does RV authority mean? It means they have all the selection you need for new and used RVs, class A, class B, uh, campers, bumper pulls. Uh, they have pop-ups. They have uh, uh, fifth wheels. Whatever you need, they have at LazyDays.com. They also have a great service facility, I-25 and Exit 240, formerly our friends at Century RV. They merged. They're now Lazy Days RV of Denver at Longmont, Exit 240, and I-25, the best service. Great facility, LazyDays.com. Everything is so expensive right now. By the time you fill up the car... What? No, that's good. Are, oh, so uh, Sh Shannon? This is Freddie. Freddie. Oh, okay. So, Suze, you're in there now with Freddie. And if you, uh, if, if now I have somebody who can uh, Okay, reach that's over. totally great. Tomorrow's our car day. We'll have car experts in studio, so it's perfect. Hey, so Hannah, what are you guys doing tomorrow, today? Okay? We're I'm going to call you about 10 a.m. Does that work? We'll get you in queue. Deep clean through the end of March. 407. Okay. Yeah, the $24.07. We'll yeah, I should nice get him out to look at one of my oh, units. And you know it. what, Mark? I, I had him do mine. I couldn't believe the crap they took out of mine. I could not believe. Mine's my secondary upstairs, and it's in the attic. What is it? Yeah, that's what we're for. Uh, uh, no, don't say that. I paid the twenty four oh seven. No, it's worth it, man. Oh, my God. What they do is unbelievable. What the, I, I, I'm serious. Mark, no matter what, yeah, seriously, I know it's if you haven't right. had it done, it will absolutely. It I'm going to do it. I'll do it. Do You're going to do what? Get our furnace clean by fix it. Would, oh, okay. Yeah, you can choose your furnace or AC. But, but... Hannah, would you do me do a favor? Do they go to Franktown, yeah. Mark? Whatever, whatever tech comes out, would you please have them teach Suzanne how to maintain it like they do <laughs> yeah, so God. next year she can do it? We've got to film that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do, they, do you guys come to Franktown? Uh, I think I've seen your trucks out there. I've definitely seen their trucks out there. Oh, yeah, they go out there for sure. We're, right, no, we're only 10 do. minutes from Castle Rock, basically. Oh. Mark, are you looking at that federal law? Because I don't know of any. Tom, I need not to look at anything. Mark. I know all, see all, Mark. say all. Oh, God, get here it. we go. It's Please. part of the Clean Air Act. Please d tell me about it. I'm serious. I want to tell the guy. It who is has illegal for a dealership to sell a vehicle. Do you have it in front of you? Oh, God. I don't, I, listen, he can't go and say Mark Major says as much you as you find? think you're the end of Tom, are you ready? Yeah. Clean Air Act, 203, Parent A, hold Parent on, hold 3, on. Uh, Parent me, A. Please, bro, let me write it down. Clean Air Act, thank you. Clean Air Act, what? 203, parentheses A, parentheses 3, parentheses A. It's under Google. Okay, good, good, good. And I'm going to look it up. Good, good, good. So now we can give this guy, so Clean Air Act. Okay. Yeah, but if you what he was saying is they just want to undo the deal. He wants to keep the truck. Well, they can undo the deal. It's not like they're telling them they can't. They'll shut them down, man. You know, you can get the FTC and the EPA involved in that. Okay, we're going to call over there. They'll citizens. make that dealership's life hell. So these guys are saying, you know what? We fucked up. We want to buy it back. We'll, Language. we'll undo the deal. Language. Do you? Th I'm wondering why, why they... Okay, he's calling us for a reason. They obviously did not do that. So He doesn't want to undo the deal. Did, did, you, did he tell us that? Yeah, while he was talking. He says oh, they I offered didn't. to undo the deal. Listen, um, do me a favor. Oh, Listen, wait, I, have, years. I have the law in front of me. <laughs> Prohibitions against tampering. 
And uh, let's see, I want to see his, his, um, his recourse. Did you see Chopper where the recourse was undoing the deal? No, I haven't, Tom. I'm trying to read it. It's pretty lengthy. I, it says it can really, it's, it's significant penalties. I wanted to get to the part where, uh, the only part I can't see is where they have to either fix it or undo it. They'll shut him down, man. Yeah, but I need to know if he has the right to, if a dealer... Well, I mean, undoing the deal would be the way to go. I mean, what other... There's an email address called tampering at epa.gov, but I don't... I don't think you could force them to fix it. I mean, that would be crazy. We don't know what they deleted off of it. It could be, you know, $20,000. Oh, goodness. I just, I'm just Jesus. asking my uh, genius here, chat. Oh, that's the same guy. Okay. You know what they could have done? This would be crazy if they bypassed the death fluid. Ten seconds. I don't even know if that's possible. Trusted local fiduciary advisors. TrajanWealth.com. Denver's talk station. Online at khout.com. Hi, Tom Martino here, 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. All right, so according to the law, they cannot, they cannot tamper. Uh, uh, no, no one can tamper uh, with emissions control devices and vehicles. It is very serious offense, and even private individuals can't do it, and you can't sell it, and you can't do anything. But the law falls short of giving automatic recourse. So I can't see, what I see is, and I'm only looking at the highlights, that it gives you civil action to go after them and you'll win, you'll win, but I, I don't see where they must do this. However, they would be an idiot not to take the car back or refund your money because, with, because they could lose their license. So continue with your story first. I want to make sure we're hearing the story. Um, so you buy a 2022 used F-150, F-350 diesel from Jim Norton Chevrolet in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Emissions missing. Emissions parts. You can't get it uh, registered. So how long ago did you buy it? I bought it March 6th and brought it into Colorado. All right, so where do you stand right 11th. now? What did the dealer say they would do for you? They know they have to know this is a violation of federal law. So I've asked them to bring the vehicle up to current standards and sent them a estimate. And they sent me an email this morning that said, we are undoing the deal. We are coming to get our vehicle. Okay, uh, well then, kind of more then of that's, all they, that's all they have to do, Lee. You can't force them okay. to fix it for you. But they have to give you every penny back. And I How much even... was it, by the way, to bring it back up? Uh, it's a little shy of 20000 Oh, Holy I love moly. this idiot on YouTube that said there's no way it's 20000 And I happened to hit that exact number. Todd. Um, hey, Lee, they're coming. Are they going to reimburse you any expenses? Yeah, they said they would, they would reimburse everything, uh, my expenses, everything. You know, here's the other thing, though. I've released liability for my other vehicle. So now I have to take my time and go back and do everything that's undone. I've been paying insurance for it, you know, running around my time. It, well, it's yeah, just, it's a pain, it's a pain in the ass, the and I, that's why I asked, are they going to give you any extra money? Um, they said they would if I had receipts, but how well, do you... Well, you, you know, Lee, you, just estimate. You know? I will say this. They shouldn't have sold it. I don't know what they were thinking. I got to believe they didn't really know about it because why would they put themselves through this? They know you can't get it registered. Well, I, they probably didn't know he was going to Oak, or I'm sorry, coming to Colorado where he'd have to go through emissions. I don't know they, what emissions Oklahoma Did they know where Oklahoma they were selling has. it, where, where you lived? I made no bones about it that it was coming back to the state of Colorado and the state of Colorado has an emissions did you me uh, But they, did you mention emissions? Yes, I did. I have to believe, based on their reaction, that they didn't know about it and that they probably figured, damn it, we can do it cheaper. Let's get it fixed here and let's just undo the deal. You can't ask for more than that. Why? So out of curiosity, what were you calling about? 
Uh, to see if to see if you if if I could uh, get a guidance on if if I chose to get the vehicle fixed um, to go after him for, well, for I don't the repairs, think you can. I, you I wouldn't know that. where to start or anything. You can't do so. that, Lee. In my opinion, this this company's is it, they're offering to take the car back and give you expenses. What are you going to? You can't you can't force specific performance on that car. I mean, what you're saying is this. You're going to refuse to undo the deal. You want to get it fixed, and you're going to go after them for the 20 grand. First and foremost, you've got to hire an attorney, and, and that's going to eat in. That's going to add to your 20. And even if you win, which will take you about 15 or 20, I don't think you'll win. But even if you do, you're going to break even at best. You, even you thought way. you had more power. <laughs> you can't simply get that uh, well, truck fixed and say... Now you pay me for it. What you might want to well, do is negotiate something. Tell them, look, can you take it back and just fix it if you can do it cheaper and I'll still buy it? It's probably a lot cheaper for them to do it in Oklahoma That's anyhow, what I'm than saying. you. Yeah. And remember, Lee, they only have to bring it back to federal standards. They don't have to make it pass in Colorado. Correct. But everything missing would be original manufacturer's equipment right which would make it pass in any state okay okay uh, maybe not though there are plenty of cars that pass that have federal equipment and still need tweaking to pass the state but lee here's the deal if you really love that truck maybe they'll take it back and fix it and still keep the deal alive It'll save them money in the long run because they don't have to pay you all those expenses. I don't know. What do you think? Um, uh, I, well, if you don't ask, you don't know an answer to it, right? Right. So I would ask. I would ask. I think that. I, I don't know. I think you're in the driver's seat, so to speak. So that's what I would do. I would go after them and say, look, could you do this for me? But I don't mean after them. I mean I would contact them. But I have a feeling they probably, I don't know why they wouldn't do it, because they're going to have to fix it and sell it anyway. Tell them that. Say, look, you're going to have to fix this and sell it anyway. I want the truck. I just need the emissions fixed. Did, did they even offer that? I mean, how did it get to we're going to come get the truck? Did you threaten them? What did you do? Oh, no, nothing. They just communicated with them saying, hey, you know, um, I took it in. It failed emissions. Uh, the shop that does the emissions test for the state wrote a quote for me. I emailed them the quote, and they were like, no way. Did you tell and them? Then, well, it could be that that shop is exaggerating. It, it, what I want to know is, um, did well, you? They never asked for another estimate. That's weird. Well, no. I'll go, no, I'll no, go no. get as many estimates as they want. It could be a lot more expensive here because we're California standards compared to in Oklahoma when they're not, just like we talk about Wyoming and Colorado. Okay. So let's put it this way then. If, if they fixed it for him, they don't have to fix it to Colorado standards. They only have to fix it to federal standards. Yeah, and it would pass here. There'd be no problem. So, Lee, when you got that estimate... Was it to just replace the missing equipment? It's to replace, yes, what is missing. What is missing on the vehicle? And it's an itemized list as to what is missing on the vehicle. Okay. And that you know what I would more. do, man? Does that I would include call... all the, is that all the equipment, the EGR valve, the catalytic converter, all of the equipment? Is yes. it all missing? Yes. Yes. God. They must have used this truck on a farm. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, you know, there's, they're talking about the catalyst particulate filters and uh, reluctant pressure lines for the depth system. All the sensors are removed. The harnesses were just left yeah. open to the environment. So they could, you might have to change connectors, you know. So they wrote an estimate for me. I presented it to them, and they were like, oh, God, there's no way. That's too expensive. We're coming to get the truck. I mean, there there wasn't even any discussion. It's they're coming to get the truck. That's what they told me. And okay. it's like, well, as far as I know, you know, I haven't. I own the truck. I mean, if they just come get it, 
Well, Lee, no, well, you don't have to no, no, take Lee, something. Lee, you don't have to let him come get it. But I don't understand what you think you're going to accomplish. You're not in a position of power here. The, if, if, so, if a dealer is undoing the deal, if you go through court, that's likely what a judge would order. Why do you believe that you have them by the balls? Because you don't. No, I don't believe that. What I was looking for is just some help in, in, in wanting to get the truck repaired. That's all I okay. wanted. Well, I never well, wanted here's anything what I other than to get the truck you, you repaired. You have two choices. You can get the truck and eat the cost and get it fixed. Or you can reason with them right now and call us back. Call them and say, look, I, when I told you it cost this much, I'm only going by what they told me. If you guys can replace the missing equipment, I'll gladly keep this deal alive. And then reason with them, because you're going to have to sell it anyway. Now, Which if they say something ridiculous like, well, if we have to put that money into it, we're going to sell it for more, then you would say to them, but then why did you price it the way you did? Because you, know, because you, you assumed it had everything. I don't say I, I you need to call them Lee we can't do it for you and then let us know what they say 303 713 talk now Mark quickly make a comment on this call and then I got to take a break go ahead Mark what is your comment no I agree with um, you. Mark, Mark go ahead Mark nailed it on the head Mark nailed it on the head you could try Wyoming because that exhaust shouldn't be that I mean I'm looking at five to six thousand dollars to replace it I don't know what he paid for the vehicle or what it's worth and so, I mean, it might be worth it for him to do that. Another thing you could do is just license it out of North Dakota. You can do it right over, right online. They'll mail you the tags out of North Dakota and just run North Dakota tags. You know, someone else told us that, that, that people, you know what? I'm getting really confused about this North and South Dakota thing who, who are letting people all over the country register motorhomes and airplanes and cars. Are you sure all, are you, you're not the one that called last time about this, are you? Mark? He hung up. He hung up. He hung up. More coming up. I'm Tom Martino. Hang on a sec. I just want to tell you about One Clear Choice Garage Doors, the best garage door systems. And listen to this. They candle all their their factory authorized for most stores they also have all the latest technology they and they have 24 7 service for emergencies and all of their prices are on their website at oneclearchoicedoors.com This is Denver's Talk Station with Michael Brown in the morning and Dan Kaplis in the afternoon, 6.30, K-H-O-W, Denver. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by Murdoch's Ranch and Home Supply. Watch out for some slowdowns over on the east end of town. I-270 westbound at Vasquez through Commerce City. We've got road work in the right lane with stop-and-go traffic. Back from I-70, seeing about a seven- or eight-minute delay. Further east and south of DIE, E-470 northbound between I-70 and the 48th Avenue overpass. Significant road construction slowdowns. Once again, about 10 minutes of delayed driving. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, mostly sunny skies. Another warm one out there today. High 66, excuse me, overnight low of 35. Some clouds rolling in tomorrow with a high of 62 partly cloudy on saturday with a high of 68 the current temperature in denver is 43 degrees with your impact traffic and weather mark swan 6 30 k how for 15 seconds bring a head sale at murdoch's ranch and home supply through march 26 enjoy savings on muck muds and bogs boots dewalt tools yard care items and more including kodiak gun safes shop in store or online at murdoch's.com keel and park are estate planning attorneys what they do is take a look at your entire life your business your heirs your your cash your investments whatever and that's all free you go over that with them and then they give you some ideas on what you need whether it be just payable on death certificates and beneficiary deeds and other things like that or if you need a full-blown trust and of course always a will and then they give you flat rate pricing you can choose to do all of it or some of it, 
But what's great about it is you're not nickel and dimed. If you decide to get a trust, you'll know exactly what it will cost. And Keel and Park, of course, believe in value, and they believe in satisfaction for people, and they really do a great job. Law, KP, Dot com. That stands for Keel and Park, lawkp.com. Call them for a complimentary meeting. No charge ever to review your estate. 970-818-8198. You wouldn't know it. Oh, goodness. Driving to Nebraska tomorrow after the show. Wow. Be a long drive. Tom, are you there? Yeah. I'm reading this stuff on North Dakota, and it does not look like you could just sit in Denver and send in something online. You know, I've had about, well, no, I've had, this is my second call, but I've had texts and stuff saying they do it all the time, and South Dakota knows people do it, and they don't care, and you can do it by mail. And they say you don't have to have a residence or anything in Oklahoma, I mean in Dakota, and I say, come on. My experience is I saw a lot of vehicles that are RVs from Montana, well, but not I know any that. other state. I know that. Now, Montana requires that you get, that you have to have a presence in Montana. And now a lot of people get a fake presence, but you have to have one. Hi, it's Suzanne with Martino. How you doing? Good. You want to come in for the show tomorrow, man? Did my camera oh, go out? Dang it. What about Friday? Next Friday. I noticed uh, my camera's not on. Mark? You want to do the following Friday after that, uh, or you want me to reach out to you Mark? in a couple weeks? He doesn't have his headphones on. Let me get his attention. Yeah. Tell Chopper to tell him to put his... Okay. Chopper, put his... Okay, these guys aren't... Okay. Listening. All right. Hey, Doc, can you hear me? Well, happy closing. Ha- closing. Nobody, Nobody can hear you. Florida. Come on, man. My no one can... Take care. Bye. Well, I need to tell them. No one's got their headphones on. Oh, no. I, I, you, I know. Your there camera's is. off. That's why. Why You're, is it off? I don't know. We're not there. I mean... He, your camera is simply not turned on, is well, what Mark said. it's on here, so everything is like as Troy always. Troy sells more homes than anybody... I just don't know why Chopper in the camera. hopper. Tell Mark to put his headphones on for me. Put your headsets on for your wife, please. <laughs> Thank you, Chopper. Uh, to- I think Tom's turning his camera on. No, oh, okay. I'm not. No, Mark, listen, I never turned it off. I just need to know, why would it lose sync with this? Just why does it do that, do you think? I'm not there. I don't know. I mean, really, you don't have to be here because it's just plugged in like always. The camera's directly plugged into the laptop. So should I, I mean, I don't know if I have to reboot or Mind just boggling. unplug it and replug it in. Let me try. I have no idea. Oh, God. All right, so... Here, I'm going to plug it back in again. You may have to reboot I've been trying it. to talk Mark into the Tasty Pot. Try that. Chopper, have you ever been there? Try rebooting it, Mark. It's got hot pot stuff. I've never had a hot pot. Oh, your, your mouth is full. Mark, do you hear me? Yeah, get it to where you can see it on your laptop. No. Then it's going to work. I, I can right now. That's okay, what I'm then let me go look. Hold on. Sue, is that a, a Raffle and Parker? I think so. It's a hot pot place, and man, I follow them on Instagram, and their their dishes look amazing. <laughs> it's it's always busy. It used to be Schlotsky's or whatever oh, that was called. Oh, Schlotsky's? That's where it's at now. Yeah, across from. Uh, I know exactly where Taco that's Bell. at. Oh, let me let me confirm. That's it. Tasty Pot. You know that area so well, Chopper. I'm only Tasty. two miles from it. Oh, you are. Have you ever been there then, Aurora? N- not that place. God, their dishes look amazing. Let's see if it comes. There it is. I, you know what I think happened, Mark? Oh, he's, oh, he's he left to go fix he's it. He's still looking at it. I, I know what happened. Ten seconds. Yo, bird farms. <laughs> Need a new roof? Call Excel exactly Roofing. Three zero three seven six one six four zero zero. Denver's talk station six thirty K How. Hi, Tom Martino here, 303 Hey, Tom, a lot of people are doing that and who are uh, expats that are going to Mexico because once you have U.S. plates on your vehicle or your RV in Mexico, you never have to register it or get insurance if you don't want to. 
But what if you what if you got just Mexican plates? What would happen? Uh, then you'd be registered and you might have to pay taxes or registration fees. But if you have South Dakota plates, you don't have to worry about it. So if you have South Dakota plates, you do have to remo- renew South Dakota every year. Well, except if you're living in Mexico, if you move to Mexico, it doesn't matter. So you're saying you just let them expire? Yeah. And uh, you know people are doing this? Uh, it, was on, it was on something on YouTube. No fooling. But the point is, South Dakota's not going to come after you in Mexico, and Mexico's not going to come after you for having expired U.S. plates. So it's only for expats. It's not for people who are going there for vacation. Okay, but here's what I want to know, because I've been getting, and it, last time we took a call on this, and if anyone knows about this, call us. We're not going to rat you out. People are saying they're sick and tired of Colorado vehicle taxes and use taxes, and on motor homes and trucks and expensive vehicles, instead of spending, by the way, with a motor home, you can spend fourteen, eighteen thousand a year. I mean, you can uh, on a on a vehicle. What are vehicles now? Five or six grand for an expensive new vehicle? I mean, it, it's incredible what it costs. We are truly a mini California. We really are. I, I mean, there's no doubt about it. This state has gone completely one-sided now for people save your stupid comments when i say that that's not political it's a fact we are one-sided and lopsided government is never good no matter what direction it's lopsided in and we have a lopsided government that's what we have but let i digress let's talk about that what people are doing so people are supposedly i'm being told registering their cars in north or south dakota and getting away from this all and that the, and somebody called and said oh yeah i do it all the time and south dakota doesn't care and and i said well of course they would if they know he said they do it by mail they send me the plates so they know you're living out of state and they still let you register everything are you kidding me i mean you know that's what i want to know why would they do that if they know you're not living there um and and truly like montana for example people go because of the i don't know lack of tax and lower fees but montana requires a a presence in that state so what some people do are uh, they start a company a bogus company sometimes sometimes it's their real company and then they get a registered agent a professional registered agent who is located in Montana, or they have a Dropbox there or something, and then they work with them and that becomes their address. It's all very complicated, but that's what they do. So let's talk. Mark, you had said that you do it through the mail. And I'm being told on on my, uh, by the way, to text the show, it's 57739. I should say that more often. And then what you do is put your uh, Tom in there and it'll come to me. But do you do this, Mark? Yes. Uh, I do it with my motorcycle. And How I don't have, have you a been problem doing? with it. Oh, since forever, for a long time. Why, I, kid, why do you, I just want a few questions, off. Mark. Why do you do it there? Because Colorado's ripping us off. They want $325 to register my motorcycle every year, and I get it registered out of North Dakota for $25. Okay, now, in, in, when you give the Colorado address, is that they don't care about that on your registration? Nope, it says right on my registration, out of state. Oh, so, wow. They're, they know you don't live there, and they're issuing out-of-state yep. plates. Yeah. Well, what was this I heard about? I used to hear this all the time back in the day when I'm on TV on Channel 4 and Fox 31, okay? We would have reporters move here, right? And then they would say, I got to change my plates over. I only have a certain amount of time. I guess you can get a ticket if you're in the state too long. Is that true, Mark? Do you ever get stopped? Yeah. Yeah, I've got the ticket. I just pay it and go on. It's okay, still, what's the oh, ticket oh, for? What t- what's the ticket it's, for? Well, it used to be 
I mean, that was a long time ago when I got the ticket, but it was for uh, not changing over my plates. And, and uh, how much was the you know, ticket? A, how much was the ticket? I think it was 150 bucks. So that so now you paid 150 there plus you paid 25 dollars. So now you're up to 175. If you get another ticket, you may as well just register it here. You got to multiply it times 10 years. Oh, you've been doing it. Right. Okay, you're playing the laws. I want to know more people who do this. I promise you, we're not going to trace your call. We're not going to rat you out. Let's do that. Now, tell Lucretia to hang on. Uh, Lucretia, I did a lot of uh, looking into this scam. She sent me a bunch of information, a dating scam everyone has to know about because she thought she was protecting herself, but she did not protect herself. By the way... Frank Duran, the real estate man, will do a market valuation of your home for the asking. I talked to Frank this morning. He says he has a lot of great deals on condos and townhomes and on other homes, single family, of course. And right now, if you want to know what you can sell your house for in this market, he'll do a detailed analysis free of charge. 303-920-1622. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by Discover. Some busy traffic into downtown for the late morning commute. I-25 northbound showing speeds in the 30s and 40s between Broadway and 6th. 6th Avenue eastbound, some stop and go on the off-ramp to I-25 southbound. On the northeast end through Commerce City, I-270 westbound, some road work in the right lane at Vasquez. A stop and go back from I-70. We're seeing about a five-minute delay. Not too bad there. I-70 east and westbound flowing free to and from the DIA area. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, mostly sunny skies. Nice and warm out there again today with a high of 66 degrees. Enjoy it while it lasts. Overnight low of 35. Tomorrow high 62, 68 high on Saturday. Scattered showers on Sunday. The current temperature is 56 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. 15 seconds. Everyone to feel special? That's why with your Discover card, you have access to 24-7 customer service as well as $0 fraud liability, which means you're never held responsible for unauthorized purchases. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Limitations apply. k H Home Solutions, the weather's getting better. They'll be out it. They'll be at it doing your roofing and your siding and your windows and doors. k H has what you're looking for, but they also do bathroom remodels that's right they've added that the oldest home improvement company in colorado that you can trust that's k h home solutions now they started out at KH windows and that's where you can find out about their bathroom remodels and everything else it's khwindows.com they've kept that name khwindows.com so k h home solutions will go through everything with you free of charge no obligation Get your bathroom done from the shower, toilet, or the whole thing. 303-421-7100-421-7100. All right. If you're looking for safe, conservative investments, mymoneymyway.com. That's Joe Cano, certified financial planner, and his team. One thing I can tell you about him, knowing him 30 years, is that he is solid when it comes to honesty and integrity and products. He's doing fixed indexed annuities for some that have guaranteed returns, guaranteed never to lose principal, guaranteed never to lose gains. You want to check him out? Check him out. I, I recommend you do. I have an annuity. 303-779-6600. 779-6600. MyMoneyMyWay.com. If addiction trauma... Hannah, we'll get to stuff, I promise. I will have to pop out for 20 minutes. Oh, okay, okay.
let's see if Lenora, let's see here. Is it available now? 5190 Troubleshooter show which first name Dave Dave in a sentence or less what did you want to talk to Tom about on the show today Let's ask Tommy. Hang tight. Listen to the phone. When you hear your name, come on and give me your question. Question on let's see. Putting hold on credit card. Hold on credit card charge. We gotta figure out those credits. That's weird. That's very weird. Woo. Hey, Tommy. Yes. I guess on that dating scam, the lady said a guy just made a deposit, whatever that means. Yeah, Because I cool. was kind of working on stuff yesterday. Cool, cool, cool. So. Hey, Mark. Uh, let me see. Ten seconds. The iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. 6.30 KL. An iHeartRadio station. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter. 303-713-TALK. 303-713-8255. Okay, I want to um, have Tom make a comment on registered on registering vehicles. It seems that a lot of people have texted me and they're going to South, I, I, it's either North or South Dakota or both. And the states are not, that that state doesn't care. It doesn't care if you're out of state, they'll register your vehicle. So Tom, what's your comment on that? Tom? Comment on this. Hey, yes. Yeah, turn down uh, your radio, bro. You're morning. listening in delay. Go ahead. Yeah, I did. I did. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Uh, are we on? Or? Yes, we are. What is your comment on this registration out of state? Okay, uh, here's, a, here's an issue. I bought a brand-new motorcycle. was an expensive one. My license plate alone for one year was $580. I paid for it. Three months later, I met a deer and totaled the bike. So I wanted to wait until the following year to get the next year model on a motorcycle replacement. I took my license plate to, to the DMV and said, hey, I want to return it. I'd like to get a refund. So um, when I get the next one, I'll do it. They said, no, there's no refund. We'll hold your plates until the validation expires. I said, but I'm not, I'm not going to buy one tomorrow. I'm going to wait until the new model year comes out. They says, well, sorry, too late. Wait a minute. So, then so the, I, they would have got, wait, they would give you credit if you did it when? What is your time limit? 
Uh, they would have given me, I think it was eight months left. So, uh, so hold on. So, but, but what I'm saying is this. If you do not register another vehicle within the time, you don't get that credit? Exactly. You lose it. It runs out. And In other words, I, as I, if you're using it, it runs it, out. Exactly. And so I if you wreck around, a bike, hey, hold on, if you wreck a new vehicle a month after you registered it and paid for all the taxes, a month after, and sure. you waited till the following year, they would look at that as an expired, no credit due. Exactly. If, they, if they, should be able, time, they should be able to flag the system and say, hey, Tom's vehicle is, is wrecked. Let's put this credit on his account. What the hell? Why not? Uh, exactly. So here's what I did. And that was $580 for one year. So when I got my new bike, since I had lost my credit, I went and registered in Oregon. I have property over there. I registered over there. Well, you there have property for there. Four, right. For four years. Hold on. I want to I want to come back to this and talk more about it. Your success. Hey, Tom. Yes. Don't you think he has to, if his bike was wrecked, let's say a month after he bought the bike, if he turns in the plates, they would give him a refund. But if he waits until the following year. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He said he has to register a new vehicle. I didn't realize all you had to do. Are you sure? So all you would have to do is, is, um. Turn in the plates. Really? I think well, so. Well, how else? Uh, well, finish. How else are they going to know that the well, registration fee? I, I wonder fee... why. I, I mean, I'm going to talk to him about it. Keep him on because yeah. really, if you think about it, that that makes sense to me. Right. It's just like when you buy a new car mid-year. So, are you, you get... saying he doesn't have to buy another vehicle? He would still get his money back if he just turned in the plates. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, then. I, that that I you should have chimed in with that, bro. Tom, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with Doc, but I know you will only get the ownership tax back if you re-register another car with those plates. You, but get, I, you, don't, you don't get any I sales tax or village. anything, right? No, ownership's tax. Right. Yeah. So when you did. register, let me get this straight. You have an ownership tax oh, and you wow. have the first time the sales tax. That's correct, but if you sold that car tomorrow and someone else buys it, buys it they pay the sale tax. No, I get it keeps that. on going. I get that. Right, but we're not talking about sales tax. Right. Because once you about... purchase something, that sales tax is paid mm -hmm. regardless of what you use it for. That's what I don't like, Doc. They, they can collect sales tax 20 times. Quick for Matt. Huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, they would. Uh, I'll hide that. And just tell Lucretia to hang on and we will talk I to will. her. Because I want to take some Lucretia, other Lucretia, coming right to you. Hang tight just a minute for me, please, hon. All right. So I'm going to step away from the mic for a sec. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, Rick, I looked at the map for Pioneer Village. It doesn't look so, like they have pull-through sites. Here, then we'll talk. Looks talk like it's oh, 30 and 50 Ooh. amp. Oh, they do have pull-through sites. Okay. Our license broke. Buy one, get one. Huh. Oh. Little pet walking area. I wish they had more pictures at their cramp campground, Rick. They don't have any pictures. And then there's a museum. Estimate, and they have to let have to let them come get.
Let's see here. What is his address? It's really good. It's refreshing. I mean, I like it. Especially no caffeine, no... Ch <sighs> Did you give up caffeine, Tom? Oh, no, I didn't. I'm oh, cutting okay. back. Um, what, um, oh. um, um, uh, Hannah's cutting back, so oh, I gave her a Sprite uh, Zero. Nice. Have you heard of Sprite Zero? It's like Coke Zero. I have. I don't drink soda. Just soda yeah. water is the only soda. You know, I, I don't drink anymore either. I, I only have it when I go to the station, believe it or not. Yeah. And, and I mean, I don't know. I have it, but I, I, I'm just running out and I'm not replacing it. Why don't you drink it, Suze? I, I just, like, it sounds so silly, Tom, but I had a real problem with Diet Coke for years. Like, oh, I would yeah, have you three said, at yeah, a meal. You remember me? I, you, yeah. What did I drink? Like a case a week or something of, yeah, of Coke yeah, Zero? Yeah, no, I would have, like, three in one meal, and Mark was, like, looking at me like, sister, you need to give that up. So, now I drink beer. <laughs> Don't know that that's any better. <laughs> hey, Tom. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Doc is right, and I am right. Oh, no, there what? What? I said, Doc's right, and I'm right. It depends on what county you live in. It's strictly up to the county whether they're going to give you a refund for ownership tax. Are you kidding me? They don't have to? It says the Colorado Motor Vehicle statutes do not establish refund procedures. Okay, make sure we talk about that then. Suze, I have to touch base with you about what about a charity account and what I want to do with it. I want to okay. I want to. I got. I want to start doing some specific things for people. I think. Yeah, it'll be, just let me know. There's there's stuff in there for you. So I've um, yeah, I've uh, I I got a great idea, but I, I want to talk okay. off the air about. Okay. And it has to do with jobs and stuff and making people productive. But I think it'll be Sweet. really good. Ten seconds. And now that the Bobulinski testimony has proven Biden's corrupt, should the GOP impeach? Join me at four. Yeah. Ripped off bad news. You need advice so you don't have to lose. We'll come running just as fast as we can. Troubleshooter's gonna help the common man. This is the Troubleshooter Show. Is Lucretia no. gonna call Tom back? Martino? Hey, Tom Martino here. Welcome to the show. 303 713 Talk, 713 8255. I want to talk about registering vehicles out of state as well as everything else because a lot of people are starting to do it, and I don't know why. I mean, I was always told, you can't do that. My God, they threatened the hell out of me. They said, you can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. You get tickets. It's, it's not worth it. Now I'm hearing that South Dakota, I don't know if it's North or South Dakota. It, 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 Suze, what was it? Was it North or South? Mark, what were they talking? Which state? Was it both or one? North. I, North Dakota, is it? Okay. Um, 
I want, I want clarification on that, if people have been doing this, if it's north or south. I think one guy, because one text talked about south, and then the caller talked about north, so I'm not sure. Also, I have Hannah with us from, Hannah Davis from uh, Fix It 24-7. Now, let me get that out real quick, yep. because we really need to concentrate on this. This month, for Marsh Madness, you will never, and I mean never, ever, 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 ever get this value ever again for the work they put into it. They did my AC, and you might say, oh, it's for you, Tom. No, I swear to God, it's the same exact thing they do for everyone because I haven't gotten calls on it. They spent two hours on our system going through everything, the fins on the blower, they, and anything that's removable and taken apart, they can, they do. They take things out, they clean it, they use solvent. They make that furnace or AC incredible. It's what I call the deep clean tune and check. Now, $24.07, 24-7, because of fix it 24-7. This is for the AC this month. Okay. Yes. So have you seen them do it? Have they done it for you yet? They've done it for me, and that's how I first started working with them, Tom, is this happened. I fell in love with this company, and I said, hey, yes. can I join? Yes. They spent two hours, like you said. I came out, and every single piece was taken apart. I literally thought there was something horribly wrong with my system. They said, no, ma'am. And this is just what we do for every customer. I had a little noise that was ma it was making that I stopped. had a big noise. And it stopped. No, ours sounded like a freight train. I kid you not. It was our first home that we moved into. It was gone. Now, here's what I gone. want to tell you. $24.07 this month only. Yep. Then it goes back to regular. But I'm going to be honest with you, okay? Even their regular price is a absolute screaming deal. So I'm, but... $24.07? Are you kidding me? All you have to do is call the schedule this month. I'm not even sure they have to do it this month, but you have to call them. Get on the books this month. That's so, all so we need. That's just get on the books. Fixmyhome.com. And there's a guarantee no breakdown for the AC. Fixmyhome.com. We'll talk more about it. If you have any questions, give me a call because uh, I do have a couple questions on AC I put away for them that I got from email that I want to ask about and Hannah may have to ask ahead to an expert or she might know. I think I know, but I'm not sure, but we'll talk about that. It has to do with AC and trying to, um, trying to what do they call it? Zone it yourself, meaning shutting down vents in a room. Well, is it bad to unbalance it? What happens? Maybe we should, like I said, you might know, Hannah, this question may have come up before. But anyway, 303-713-8255. Also, Suze wants you to know that they check voicemail every single evening and morning for calls to call back. So here's our number at that voicemail. And by the way, if you call now, it comes through the studio. It's 303-MARTINO, 303-627-8255. 8466. Now to Tom for a comment on registering vehicles. Tom, you're the one that had the motorcycle, right? Yes, sir. And you, is it north or south? Oh, no, you went to Oregon. Now, when you went to Oregon, here's what I want to know. Did you go to Oregon because uh, you had property there? They let you. Would they have let you if you didn't have property there? Uh, I do not believe so because uh, they do you have a home there. Have a, or, yes, I do. So you use that address. Correct. Yeah. But do they hassle but, you here? Because here's how laws work and sales tax laws. Trust me, I've looked into them. They say that even if you have a residence in Oregon or a residence in Colorado or a residence somewhere, and you register a vehicle there, they will deregister it and make you go where it is domiciled. So what is the definition of domiciled? That's the thing. I, go yeah, ahead. I have them domiciled in Oregon, but I'm here. And so you don't I drive the motorcycles in yeah. Colorado a lot. Yes, I do. All my vehicles are registered in Oregon because of their unfair practice on the sales. They charge an outrageous amount for one year. Oregon, I paid one twenty five for four years. Yeah, so listen, I, I have a question for you. Do you get hassled? When you drive them here, do you get hassled ever? No, no. You just don't, don't get tickets. Don't do the wrong things. It's ridiculous. You okay. Know, you, oh, so Oregon is Oregon is cheap. 
Uh, you know, a lot of Jerry. people, listen, man, a lot of people are doing things to save money like that. So hang on. I mean, not hang on. Thank you for calling. I appreciate it. 303 talk 703 John, is it South Dakota that you have your car registered in, John? Another, uh, John? Yeah. Um, my mother-in-law, they have a 2003 Trailblazer. They've had it registered in South Dakota for almost three years. And they just, South Dakota sends them the renewal. They send it in. They send them back to New Tag. And they drive and around here. They drive around here, and there's no, there's no problem. Is actually, my son has actually borrowed the car for the last eight months and drives back and forth from Parker to downtown Denver. It's a priority thing. The police don't have time to pull somebody over because of a license plate as long as you don't break the law. And South Dakota doesn't it. require you to have a license there. I mean, a, a, a license or an address there. No, not at all. They're just doing it for the revenue. They know that there's all these states that are hosing everybody on the emissions, and they're just like, hey, we'll take the money. Mark, do you know about this? I wonder. What do you think about this? I mean, I'm finding, I'm fascinated. I am fascinated that this is happening and that people are, it used that they used to really clamp down on it. They did. Let me tell you what California does. This is incredible. California, if they see a jet on the, on the ramp, I'm not talking about like at these general aviation airports, Learjet, Citations, Cessna jet, or just Citation, they, uh, any kind of jet, a Barmadier, whatever, these private corporate jets, if they're on the ramp, they go out, get the end number, see where they're registered. If they're not registered in the state of California, they send sales tax notices to people there have been even tourists, by the way. So there have been tourists who have their jets parked there, but the, the state says if you park them here more than a certain amount of time, they're now domiciled here. They've changed their domicile laws, and they start taxing them. Think about that. That is, that is act, or it was happening. I don't know if it is right this minute. Now, I'm going to go to that dating scam, but first, I really need to, to uh, talk to Dave. He's been waiting a while on this credit card thing. Go ahead, Dave. What's going on? Dave? Yes. What do you need to know, Dave? Yeah, I uh, had my car worked on, and I they called me in. I paid it off, half cash and half credit card. Now it's making a funny noise. I took it back and stayed drive with another 500 miles in my correct itself. And I don't believe that. It's bearing in the flight. Oh, so wait a minute. I, do you want to do you want to contest the credit card charge? Well, I want to put it on hold until he fixes it. It's under warranty. Now, what do you mean do put, it on, you put it on hold? You mean the payment that you made? Half of it until he fixes it right. Right. And that half was done on credit card. Right. 1900. Okay. Um, hold on. Let's talk. I can, let, let, let me noodle this, and I'll come back with you on that. 303-713-TALK. 713-8255. Dan McKenzie for estate planning. McKenzie Law. I know, I know Dan. He does a great job. He'll meet with you personally and go over your estate. He's, uh, I like that personal touch he has. Uh, a smaller firm. I call it a boutique firm. It doesn't mean they don't know what they're doing. He certainly is an expert at protecting your assets, doing trust, wills, and simple plans or complicated, whatever you need. 833-CO-PLANS, 833-CO-PLANS, or coplans.co. Thirty seconds. Time of the year. It's buy one get one free time on Select Redbird Farms chicken products at King Supers and City Market. Stop by your local store for buy one get one free burgers and individually wrapped five piece chicken breasts. Redbird Farms chicken is the juicy, tender, all natural chicken that will always make your dinners delicious. Grill it, fry it, put it in parm. As long as you make it, Redbird Farms. Window coverings, anyone? Made in the shade, your one-stop shop. I love the way they do business. Listen, it's easy. They send out someone to meet with you in your home and a qualified designer to 
make suggestions. This is all free of charge. They measure every opening free of charge again. If you decide to go with them and they try to meet your budget, they order the stuff and then their in-house installers put it all up and they guarantee the labor as well as the manufacturers guaranteeing the product. So you have made in the shade. You are taking it easy when it comes to your window coverings and it's a great job. Denvershades.co. Find out more about them. Denvershades.co. The roller coaster stock market can't be around. With such frequent ups and downs, don't let market volatility derail your retirement. Hi, I'm Linda Gardner, host of Your Money, Your Retirement, Saturdays on 630 KL. If you're concerned about the markets, call today to schedule a complimentary review of your now, do they not want me to use the number? Or can I use the number? Because in the ads, he tells only use the website. I kind of agree with that. I used to not agree with it, but I totally think I agree with it. Because people Jeff, you got a kiddo? I do, yep. How old? Uh, nine months old. Oh, my yeah. boy or girl. Oh, uh, boy. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are busy. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, is he crawling around? He's, yeah, he's crawling. Looks. Well, let me show you. Standing. I need to. It's really cool. got a lot of his teeth in now. So. Wow. <laughs> he's getting to the age now where he's yeah, that's to the point cool. where he's starting to create a little mischief, you know? Like oh, yeah. He's, he's very, you know, now that he can move around better, yeah. you know. He's, explorative. Yeah, very explorative, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Beckham. Beckham. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. You call him Beck? Or do you uh, stick with Beckham? Some people do. My dad calls him. <laughs> Grandpa yeah. calls him that. But <laughs> it's funny because our daughter's Adeline. I, yeah. don't, I don't know if you've met her because she's done Kaplan. Yeah, show. I have before. Yeah. But we call her Addie growing up. Yeah. She's, it's Adeline Blue, so we call her Addie Blue. Oh, that's cool. And then I thought she would stick with that, but as oh, she got into her awesome. teenage years, she wanted to be called sure. Adeline. Yeah. So she, that's what most people know her as now. Well, that's what my wife and I said. We we're like, well, you know, we never know when he gets older. He might yeah. be like, I want to go buy this, and we'll let him go buy that. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have, I have presentations. I guess below what do you ever call him Becky? Just like being, oh, you know, like cutesy, <laughs> but that would be weird because Becky's a gal's yeah. name. No, and, you know, I, I don't oh, know. My wife Becky. Either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Beck E E E E E E. A lot of E's on the end. Funny. <laughs> like Bucky's, like the. Oh I know. <laughs> Have you been there yet? I've been to the ones in Texas. Okay. We went to one like in Alabama. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, so cool. The place is crazy. It is so crazy. <laughs> Well, I'll have to stop in next time we're up north there, now that it's open. Yeah, I want to check that one out now. Yeah. Come on, you piece of crap. Get off of here. Get off of here. Tom, you got to take a ride up to Bucky's now that it's open. You know, what is that all about, by the way? It is like, it's it. a convenience store the size of a Walmart. And you would think you're going in there for five minutes. You can spend two hours so in there say, and leave happy. Yeah, I mean, is it that crazy? It's that crazy. It is, yeah. It's nuts. It's nuts. Hannah, have you been? I've been. I'm from Texas, so yeah. Oh, gosh. So you all, you know. I remember my first It's time. the coolest. Only a half an hour if you're on low carb. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and you will spend money. Yes, on their barbecue, <laughs> on their snacks, mm -hmm. their oh, yeah. gifts. I love their jerky section. <laughs> oh, they, they have, have a good jerky section, stuff. Jeff says. Oh, my gosh. I have, at this point, three Bucky's bikinis. So it's... You're lying. I swear. I swear. Oh, I I'm Googling this. Uh -huh. I didn't even know no. they had them. No, it's a, it's a hit in Texas, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, uh -huh. My husband hates it. Oh, so they don't, it's not the Bucky's logo on it, is it? No, it is. It's on there. Oh, that is hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. Hilarious. Ten seconds. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. TrajanWealth.com. Denver's talk station. Online at khow.com. Hi, Tom Martino here with Fix It 24 7. Remember, right now, make you get on the books $24.07. You will never 
find that deal anywhere ever again. Oh, I mean, not ever again. You might, but I'm saying you won't find one better in town. Fixmyhome.com, 720-526-3939. Now, I, I, listen, I know we got this dating scam to update, and I'm just begging for her, uh, for her patience because I do have to help some people that called in, and then I want to get these comments on registration. So, Dave, um, on a dispute for your credit card, let me just get right to that. You can dispute a particular charge. Now... What they do is they're not going to stop that one charge. They're going to stop that credit card completely, okay? And they're going to retract that charge, but you have to contest it based on a few things. Unfortunately, bad customer service is not one of them. Now, it's not, not even breach of contract. You, you do it based on the fact that you did not get what you paid for. So... You see what I'm saying? So yeah. they're going to question you and ask if you tried to work it out with the merchant. They're not going to just hold it because it's under warranty and you want to be sure it gets fixed. They're, gonna, they're not going to do it. If you call, however, if you call and not get into the weeds with them and just say this was a fraudulent charge, they'll take it back. But then that, and, and here's what I want to tell people and something I don't think people know. When you have a dispute with a credit card charge and the credit card agrees with you, that doesn't mean you don't owe the money. Do we know that? Of course it doesn't. The merchant can still come after you directly. The, the credit card company has no official capacity to rule on a debt. So, you can call it fraud and it's a little white lie, and, or you might think it is fraud if he didn't do it right. But if all you're concerned about is holding him to the warranty, you're not gonna be able to do that with your card. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. It's just the way it is. What makes you think he won't honor the warranty? Well, it's a torque tube on a Corvette. If you don't get that shock into that uh, flywheel area, you can tune up that bearing and everything else. But what you makes you what makes I'll you think he won't do it? He's got bad reviews. Okay. Sorry, Dave. I, I, I can't tell you any more than I did. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Norm, why are you registered in Idaho? Hey, Tom. Uh, yeah, I, I registered my business trailer in Idaho because I pay a one-time fee of $125, and it is non-expiring. It how never much would expired. It, how, how much would it have cost in Colorado? Didn't even look. Heard about this deal. I was like, I'm going to try it. And Did sure they require a, 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 an Idaho address? No, uh-uh. They know I'm out of state, but you have to be a business. You just can't register your... Uh, personal trailer yes, there. Yes, but you, trailer, you gave them a Colorado address. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they mailed me my license plate to Colorado. You didn't even pretend that you do business there. No. Uh -uh. I even called the guy and and because I couldn't believe it, right? And he was like, yeah, yeah, it's all good. And I took, uh, uh, well, it's called the Idaho. And I can't remember even what it's called, man. But, uh, yeah, it it. it totally legit but a business trailer not a vehicle well i understand trailer. that now so you can't do a vehicle there i didn't even check that i, I already had vehicles registered here that are already paid for and i might look into it come you know renewal time but all right thank you i appreciate the information i want to know anyone who's registering stuff out of state 303-713 talk i'm not going to do anything except i'm getting this information i may do an article on it uh, Storm, what do you mean you registered weapons? What? Tell me about that. Yeah, I'm a self-proclaimed privacy guy, and Wyoming is the best place. And you have these assets that are still on the books with the, uh, the state and the society wants you to follow these rules. Um, there's a thing called a registered agent, and it puts a buffer between you That's and your right. assets. The registered agent um, is is someone who has a a presence for you in another state but normally to do a registered agent you have to have a company 
an LLC or a corporation, right? That is correct, and that's why you just make sure that you fill out that paperwork, and then you can put whatever you want into that company. And what do you? And 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 in other words, you actually have an LLC registered out of state that you keep stuff in. What do you keep in your company? Well, when it comes to the privacy of my weapons, you know, we want to make sure that uh, we follow the laws of the land. You know, they want us to, um, you know, have. Um, the state wants to know what weapons you have, but when you put this in this LLC, it makes you sure that you have a buffer. Now, so Storm, I want to ask you a question quickly about this this weapons thing. Uh, is there? I'm, I'm ignorant. I'm sorry. I'm ignorant on this. Are all of our weapons registered somewhere under your name? It's like the state wants to know. Like, but but what when, you got. when you buy them. They keep a, a record, right? So it's registered. But you don't have to renew that, do you? No. What I do is I put it into this L, uh, LLC registered agent so that if I ever get a no, notice get, that says, hey, it. we, mm -hmm. you know, it gives us an opportunity to, to like, have a buffer zone right. to uh, handle the next So the when, next when you go out and buy a gun, the LLC is buying the gun. Correct. Okay. It's in that LLC. It's an okay. asset. Got it. Got it. Now, private gun sales, you're not required to register guns when you do a private gun sale, are you? Uh, no, right? I don't think so. Again, this is just a buffer. Yeah, so I, no, I get it, Storm. I get it. Thank you very much for, for that information. I'm, I'm mainly looking for people who register vehicles out of state to save money there are tons of them and what they say is now with the newcomers and all of the the law enforcement you know the the shoplifting the crime the homelessness police are not focused on running license plates and giving people a hassle and they're they seem to have their attention diverted wow lucretia back to you now lucretia I did extensive image searching on this Marine. The only place that he shows up, the only place, is Snapchat. There are no other photos of him anywhere. And we're talking 16 billion images or something. They said ridiculous. But oh my I, can't, God. I can't find, no, seriously. And I use some really good stuff that a caller told me to use, plus I use Google, the image search. So you can't find this guy anywhere except Snapchat. So he must, I mean, that doesn't mean he's real, by the way. That means he, he made a photo. And, and there, one came back saying, is this uh, artificial intelligence? Now, I don't think the guy's that good looking, that you know it's artificial intelligence, but I imagine you can create images through AI that actually become uh, a picture on the internet, but there's no history to it. And I think this might be an AI image because of that. Now, the next thing, I want to warn people, this is, this is something that happened to Lucretia. And this is really important. Lucretia, uh, how did you first get approached? I want people to hear this. How did you first get approached by this guy? Well, uh, first let me say I, on Snapchat, I was on there because my granddaughters, you know, my, my children, and I, started, I thought it was cute. You know, they have cute, you know, cartoons and all, all that stuff. And that's how I got onto it. Well, later on, I started getting, like, messages, like, from not just this one, but, I mean, like, all over, you know, just requests and all this. So I started exploring that just the next time. Like, what like, kind of request? So, so I didn't, I, I'm not too familiar with not Snapchat, but if you have an account, you know, like, like, if you have an account on Snapchat, people can ask you to be a friend? Well, that's, yeah, that's what happened with me, yeah. I don't know. Um, okay. 
And then what? Anyway, yeah, that's how it happened. And, and so I just was, you know, like, clicking on it as to all of that. Like, even, you know, they advertise, like, uh, flowers or animals or, you know, pets for sale or whatever, whatever it is. But anyway, and so that's how I started, like, knowing, well, gee, you can message somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so, so this guy, when he first... Not to know what it does. When he first messaged you, what did he say? Well, there was a whole bunch of messages. I mean, I was just like, wow, you know, clicking on them like, oh, this one looks this different. And, you know what I mean? I was clicking, uh, you know, each one, not just his. Okay. And then what? Keep but going. Anyway, then what happened? So, you know, so then it just, you know, it just, it just came to a conversation. You know, a few of them was kind of like... You know, just it was not my. I was like, whoa, you know, that's just messaging and they'll get to know you and all that. And so that's how I came about all this. Uh, I was like, okay, my interest was more. And then pictures came about. And I mean, you know, just different messages. So, and I happened to click on his and like his. And so a little bit more information and talking. And so we had been talking already. Uh, probably did maybe you about ever, four did you ever now. hear his. Hold on. Uh, hold on, Lucretia. Did you ever hear his voice or was it always snapchat no it was always just texting yeah just the texting i didn't even know about the voice you know what i mean it's just like i was so new to all this help me out again here help me out again on snapchat snapchat's only pictures not any words right Oh, well, I can message my granddaughters. On, and now on Snapchat just, yeah, or yeah. on text? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Snapchat. Yeah, on Snapchat. Okay, good. That's how we, like, even do the video where I can have a picture. Okay. A, a picture in picture where, like, my I picture, uh, we, I could change images and put, like, okay, a, a got goat it, or got a it. giraffe. Okay. So a this guy was Snapchatting you, and I see some of the, one of them now, was, was yeah. of, of his shirt off yeah. and his eight pack and all of that. Yes, afterwards I was like, oh, we could do personal pictures. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I'm just like learning all this. Now, I want to oh, I, I I ask you something. Like that. Did, you, did you, s- me from your phone. you, did you send the pictures. Did you, I didn't even know. Did you send any personal pictures? Well, yes, of course. I, okay. yeah. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> now, and he did too. So you thought this was a real thing happening yes. here. But after a while, yes, after a while, he just started just, you know, like, oh, I can't right now. or And then it's night over here. And I go, well, then why are you on the phone then? You know, I'll, I'll deny. It, I told him. Because it was day here is what I And did was he say he was in active military? He was active service, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. When did it get around to the money? How did that happen? Oh, well, like I said, about four months, four and a half months. I mean, nothing about money. I was just all pure, you know, just talking, getting to know each other. Uh-huh. And just, what? You know, and it was just sweet and just, yeah, and that's why I liked it. And it was like, okay, well, and then I told him, well, you know what, I'm just, because, you know, she was like, oh, well, you know, where do you live, where do you live specifically later on? And so I was like, you know, Denver, uh, whatever, and then so... Yeah, and then so he was like, oh, and then I said, well, but I'm moving, and, you know, just, like, more personal information, right. just because I was comfortable. And, right. And so and he thought, oh, well, then I'll, uh, maybe it's best that I meet you in Florida and, and or wherever we're going to go, this other state, and we're, 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 what confused. Because then I started, was like, oh, my God, what am I, like, really getting personal? I'm, like, stupid. So I started, like, saying other things, like, oh, well, you know, but then we were deciding maybe we can go over here. And did you want to meet yes, him, Lucretia? I, I did, it, a bit. Look, you did want to when meet him. Started, oh. Right? Well, yes, of course. Okay, We've now, I have to ask this. Months. When, what excuse, when did it get around to money? When he said, well, now I, he goes, oh, I, I was stupid. I lost my bag with my credentials, and now I need for you to, uh, you know, give me information. That way I could put my money, that you know, my money, my pay or whatever, into that account so that when I could, I could pull out for the ticket because I don't have my ID. And so, you know, and I was like, oh, man, that's a drag, and oh, you know, and so... So I what did he say he was going to do? He, he said, if you open an account 
uh, or not open, but if you have that an account and give me the information, I will deposit money. And then send me the money. Yeah, and then send me the money. Then that way I can make the t- then I can buy the ticket and then get, and then meet you over there. All right, hold on. I'm Tom Martino. Hang on, Lucretia. I want people to hear what she did to try to protect herself. And I don't want you to fall for this thinking you're protecting yourself and how it ended up. Then John has HOA loss assessments. This is a major deal. Please hang on. And Robert, auto insurance. I'll take all of you coming up. Plus, fixmyhome.com for the best deal ever on that AC cleaning. I'm telling you, $24.07, fixmyhome.com. This is Denver's Talk Station with Tom Martino. Now, Michael Brown, tomorrow morning at 6, 6.30, KHOW, Denver. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by Discover. Some new slowdowns throughout the Denver metro before we hit that noon hour into downtown. I-25 northbound after Alameda. Stall in the right lane has slow driving back from Lincoln and Broadway. We're seeing a three or four minute delay through the area. Not too bad. Heading out east around the DIA area, I-70 westbound before Pena Boulevard. A crash in the right lane has stop and go traffic back from Tower Road. That one we're seeing about a 10 minute delay. Fox 31 pinpoint weather. Warm the next few days. High 66 this afternoon. Mostly sunny skies. Overnight low of 35, tomorrow high 62, partly cloudy. The current temperature in Denver is 60 degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. If you 15 I seconds. Love that. I credit, that. shouldn't you also get rewarded? Well, now you can with Discover Cashback Debit. It's a checking account that rewards everyone with cash back on everyday purchases with no fees, period. Check out eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. Here's a disclaimer, and it's a good one. Retirement Planning Center of the Rockies advertises on this show they're a client, but I am a client of theirs, and that's true. I pay the fees, but it's far outweighed by what they save me and what they do for me. I have my retirement plan through them. What do I mean by a retirement plan? They help me manage all of this stuff. My IRAs or 401ks or pensions or anything, annuities, and then they give advice on estate planning and all that. Now, they will refer you maybe to McKenzie Law or Keelan Park for that part. Maybe you need a reverse loan uh, and they send you to uh, a reverse loan person. What they do is coordinate everything and help you. And really their fees are built in and they save you tons of money, but they'll meet with you if you have any questions to see what they do. No obligation. Retirement Planning Center of the Rockies, these are really good people. RPCenter.com. RPCenter.com. Hey, you Broncos country. I'm Terrell Davis, and I'm here with Donnie, owner of the Fitness Gallery. And we have something important to do. Fitness Gallery sells commercial grade fitness equipment. You got a message. Oh, man, this dating scam has me pissed off. It's this actually happened to my uh, husband. Uh oh. Did she send money? Hey, Tom. Yes? Did you get my note on what John Fuller wanted to talk about on his yes. live today? Okay, perfect. That doesn't mean I read it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you still got time. Tom, do you know an owner of k h by the name of Roland or pass owner? Yes. Oh, Ted Roland. Yeah, Ted Roland. Why? Hey, how? Oh, long story. I'll tell you someday. Really? He's a good guy, I hope. No, yeah, it's good a good stories. good story. Good guy. I wonder how he's doing, Tom. Have you talked to him in a while? No, I haven't. Um, huh. I do want to talk to him. I think he's still around. Uh, he's a friend of my hairdresser. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's um, he lost his wife a while ago. It was really tragic. It was terrible. Yeah, it was sad. terrible. Poor guy.
When it comes to your money and your mortgage, you just want the facts. So here are the facts about the life changing. Our clients. Travel Shooter Show, what is your first name? They retain 24 7 access to their equity. Suzanne, who is this? Well under 10 years without Channing. Hi, Sharon, how can I help you today? They typically save six figures in interest. I know your voice. You and I have been talking for years, haven't we? It's just math. Oh! Mark is here today. He's kind of like sidetracked with some uh, administrative stuff, but he's here. What do you got going on, Sharon? Can we help you with something? RKC Automotive? Yeah. Gosh, I love it. God, I love these people. Consumer advocates. Sounds busy. Have their own websites. I really would love to team up with them all across the country because they're all good people. What am I doing on network? Yeah, I want to do that. I love them. I wasn't so old. I mean, no, no. I mean, you know, by in the scheme of things, people can't. People are not going to get up. Time in it, but I, I have so many great ideas. Like I, I would love to do stuff for Mary. Okay. I could kill for, but it's not, it's not worth it. To I mean, age discrimination. Oh, I well, if let me tell you, if Tom Martino endorses them, they are perfectly fine. And you know, if you ten have seconds, issues, we could help you. Grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Denver's Talk Station, 630 KHOW. Hey, I'm Tom Martino, your troubleshooter. Yes, I am. 303-713-TALK. We got to get to the phones. We got a lot of people and so much to talk about, by the way. So uh, before I, uh, Lucretia, I'm going to go back to your dating scam, but I want to first take John on this HOA. I, I want to this is a major problem facing all of us, HOA assessments. God, am I getting a lot of flack for the articles I did, but it's absolutely positively true. People are, they're dying over it. I mean, you know, not dying, but they're losing their condos and stuff. Tell me what's going on with you. And it's all due to insurance. It all boils down to insurance. What's going on, man? Yeah, Tom, thanks for taking my call. Hey, my question is, uh, after the owner's, uh, don't approve the loss assessment. What actions can the board take? Okay. If you are on a board, an HOA board, and you have people in the community that won't pay, pay their fair share, and it's truly done according to the bylaws, um, and, and you need to do the roof, or you need to do whatever, and you guys need this money, what you can do is you can put liens on those units. You need to have an attorney who knows this stuff. And the, they, put, they put a pro rata, rata lien, pro rata. So it has to be a fairly assessed lien for that section of the roof technically. Now, I don't mean a section like a section because for example, with a townhome, you have a, 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 an easy um, demising of a roof. In a condo, you don't. Third floor, middle, what, what do you charge them? You, well, you charge them pro rata. You divide up the bill like you're doing for your assessment. So how much is each assessment with the HOA? How much is it? Well, Tom, it's 10000 uh, and some loose change. We have three categories, and each one is 10000 and loose change, like I say, in category one, two, or three. Okay, so therefore, they have to pay ten grand. Are you having owners who refuse to pay it? Well, we're getting ready to take a vote uh, coming up ne next week, and uh, I'm just trying to... Okay, here's what you do. Here, here's what they can do. If it's a legit assessment and the bylaws are written properly, which most of them are, 
Most bylaws are. I've done 14 subdivisions, and in every subdivision I did, I had attorneys write up this boilerplate. They knew what the hell they were doing. I would only change minor things like the size of houses and the covenants and all of that. But it here's what the bylaws allowed. Liens on the property for non-payment of assessments of any kind. That's it. Now, Tom, that's the way I read it, too, when I look at my bylaws. Yes, and if and you what, can't buy, here's the other allows. thing. Here, now, here's what a lot of HOAs ask. If I put a lien, if we put a lien on, let's say, 50 units that aren't paying or, or 10 units that aren't paying, well, however many, that still doesn't give us the money. Well, it kind of does. Almost any bank in the world will loan on collateral. So you can do a loan, and then the assessment is also, when you, when you put a lien, also carries interest with it. And then, unfortunately, the next level is foreclosing. And all of this has to be done with attorneys. Do you guys have a management company? We do, sir. They probably know every pro. They, they know how to do it. They even know how to get financing for the roof. Let me call me back after the vote and let me know. I mean, look, people might be saying, Tom, you normally talk about protecting consumers and HOAs, um, you know, and, and you don't like HOAs. But, but here's the sad fact. When people call about assessments or any other problem, I say this. The HOA is you. They're not strangers. They're not, they're not going to Tahiti with the money. They're putting it on the roof. You have no choice but to pay it. It is not their fault that insurance won't cover it all. It's not their fault that you need to repave the parking lot. It's not their fault. They are you. If you fight them, you're fighting yourself. You're all in the HOA, whether you like it or not. And people on the board take the heat. Call me back, Robert, and we'll give you step-by-step. Step. I'm Tom Martino. This is an incredible topic. It's going to be a major problem, major, if you have any kind of community property. Back to the dating scam and your calls, 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. And then Suze wants me to plug 303 Martino so we can have messages to call back for people who can't wait. And then don't forget fixmyhome.com, 720-526-3939 for the most spectacular deal on the deep AC clean and tune, just $24.07. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by ExpressPros.com. Some new slowdowns throughout the Denver Metro before we hit that noon hour into downtown. I-25 northbound after Alameda. Stall in the right lane has slow driving back from Lincoln and Broadway. We're seeing a three or four minute delay through the area. Not too bad. Heading out east around the DIA area, I-70 westbound before Pena Boulevard. A crash in the right lane has stop and go traffic back from Tower Road. That one we're seeing about a 10 minute delay. Fox 31 pinpoint weather. Warm the next few days. High 66 this afternoon. Mostly sunny skies overnight low of 35 tomorrow high 62 partly cloudy the current temperature in denver is 60 degrees with your impact traffic and weather mark swan 630 khow let 15 seconds professionals help you hire for contract or full-time jobs forget about posting jobs sifting through resumes and interviews with unqualified applicants go to expresspros.com to find the location near you that's expresspros.com you're up you know, The Art of Granite is run by Mitch Fleuria, a dear friend. Yeah, he came from Romania with $300 in his pocket. He knew nothing about granite. He learned. He wanted to start a company. He comes to Denver, starts The Art of Granite. Listen to this. Not only did he start the company, he found a wonderful wife, has kids, and he's living the American dream. Honest to God, he's such a good guy. Theartofgranite.com. This is the way it should be when you come here and want to make a difference. So he gives such great deals on any countertops. It doesn't have to be granite. It's called the Art of Granite. Back then, that was the main shiznits, right? Theartofgranite.com. You can get a price on the phone. No one else does that. 303-386-5919. He has a bunch of incentives as well. 
but I want you to call them, ask them about incentives you can choose, uh, fancy edge treatment, backdrops, you can do uh, all, all kinds of stuff. Get 25% off. 303-386-5919. Hey, RKC Automotive. I'm just getting to know him, but man, did I, we investigate him and his reviews and we invited him to the team of our automotive repair specialist, RKC Automotive. Now, Ramondo is on Facebook under RKC Automotive, and he's also on Evans west of Tejon. He doesn't yet have a website. I know it sounds crazy, but you know what? He's an old-fashioned guy with a wonderful work ethic, value, knowledge, and experience. If you really want good repairs, RKC Automotive, new and old cars, foreign and domestic, 720. 749-3965, 720-749-3965. Is Mark listening? He's not right now. Hey, Chopper, would you tell Mark to put on his headphones? Mark, put on your headphones. Your wife wants you. Tommy was trying to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Does, Does Ramondo have any plans, or you don't talk to Elizabeth, does he have any plans to get a website? I have no idea. I could do a... Everyone needs a website, for God's sakes. I just wondered. Okay. No, I have no Hey, did we clue. put the window people back on the referral list? Uh, let me look. I don't think so. Premier. Because they're, they're official now. Tom, if I step out to my car, can I let myself back in? Yeah, just keep the door unlocked. Perfect. DenverCOPressureWash.com. Russell Wilson loses three and a half million. Weren't they on yesterday, Mark? Hey, Tom. Yes. Russell Wilson loses three and a half million million selling Cherry Hills home. That's a big hit. I wonder why. Maybe because he had to split fast. I don't know. That's usually never the case. I swear to God, never. The Waltons lost a lot more. Near window cleaning and pressure wash. Hey, Tommy. Yeah? I finally got the Dyson hair dryer. Six minutes to dry my hair completely if you're looking for a gift idea for Steph ever. So let me ask you something. Um, Six minutes. What does it normally take? Fifteen. Because I got a lot of hair. You've seen her hair, my God. I I know. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Oh, I love it. Is it really? What's so different about it? I don't know. It's quieter. It's like half the noise. I just can't believe it. Six I minutes. I need an email on them. One of you guys email it to me, please. What? You need my email? I'll no, send it Doc, to you, Mark. For, oh, I'll send it. Premier window. I got it. And a name. Oh. <sighs> um, Tyler Burns. She's got that, too. I'll just send it to you. Thank, da, da, da. thank you. Sure. I don't want to do it from that computer.
10 seconds. Get your podcast. Heed the call. Presented by T-Mobile for Business. Now is the time for 5G business. 6.30 KHOW. An iHeartRadio station. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter. 303-713-TALK. 713-8255. Let's, uh, let's uh, talk to Jim. He has a question on registering cars out of state. Then I'm going back to Lucretia after the top of the hour, and I'll tell you why. We have some people investigating this, and um, we're, we're, we're trying to get her out of that bill with the bank, and I want to, I hope, have good news for her. Jim? Yes. What, you have a question on the cars registered out of state? I do. Normally, when you register your uh, your get insurance, they ask where the vehicle is garaged, housed, etc. So, is your insurance when you do that still valid with an out of state plate, and you have no residency? You know what? Let's get Compass on. You bring up a good point. Let's ask him. I'm going to get Compass Insurance on, and ask him if that would complicate insurance. Great question, Jim. You, can, you don't have to hang on unless you have another question. We're going to get them on after the hour. And then at the dating scam, people, you have to understand what Lucretia is facing right now. And I'm, I'm dragging this out because I have people behind the scenes working. So hang on. I'm Tom Martino. 303 Martino, of course. 303-627-8466 or 303-713-TALK. Seven minutes. Two, yeah. Okay, Jim is gone. Sue, did you see where he sold it for twenty one million, though? Yeah, I know. He's not he's not hurt and that's for sure. Who's not hurting? Russell Wilson with you know, he still sold it for twenty one million. Case is speculating from YouTube that he just overpaid for it to begin with. Yeah. Mohan, this is back at the Martino Show. I'll call you this afternoon after the show. Thank you. Lucretia says he's trying to call her right now. Three-way call? I'll be right back. Sounds good. Not really sure, MR. Uh, that was a Mark decision. Maybe because Mark's doing admin work right now. He just decided to put the cam and cam on Tommy. Hannah, are you there? Thank you. 
Hi, how you doing? I am. Kelly's got a few days off for March Madness. She's like obsessed with basketball. <laughs> like, go figure. You know, I got I've got concerts, so I guess I don't have much room to talk. <laughs> It is her thing, college basketball. Hey, the question's going to be, um, if you know, people that register their vehicles out of state to save money, like, you know, up in Montana. How does it work with insurance? Like, when you insure, you insure in Colorado. How does all that work? That's what we're going to ask. Hey, thanks for your time. Hang on. Who is the guy that hides his face in studio, Kendall? That's probably Doc. <laughs> it's just a guess. What do they want to know? They want to know why you're always hiding your face. But well, we're not, not even on my, camera right now. I'm not hiding my face. I'm looking at the uh, screen. Yeah. So there, Kendall. There? Yes, he was a, he's a retired doctor. He's an OBGYN. Was a gyno. Baby doctor. Chopper, are you typing something smart ass? Of course you are. I can feel the energy. <laughs> Boy, you're good. <laughs> Read and enjoy. <laughs> In a male prison. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All righty, then. Is Hannah there, or did she leave? Oh, she just had to go out for a minute. She's right here again. Hey, Hannah. She's coming in right now. Hannah. Oh, uh, I was just going to ask her what part of Texas she lives in. She can in. hear you. What part of Texas do you live in? Dallas. Oh, I have family in Tyler. I know Tyler. Tyler. Right in that last Yeah, I lived there for a minute as a kid. I, I met a girl from Tyler, nice tooth. <laughs> and I have, I have family in Fort Worth, Dallas as well. Uh, the Tyler Bucky's was actually the first one I ever went to. I didn't know there was one there. I'm going to be calling way. my cousin, tell her how jealous I am of her. So, oh my God, I forgot. That's funny. Um, hey, Tom, pardon me, Tom, I've got Brian Burns on for that call. Okay. okay. For that uh, question on registered vehicles out of state and insuring it in state. Trouble shooter show, please hold a minute. I just see it's screwed on perfectly, and I don't. You're darn right, Don Lou. I gotta get a new. We're not touching on. Okay, now I gotta call John in a few minutes. I don't know where it's stripped. Cancel timer. Shoot, I don't want to miss it. Seven minutes. Status puts it. I'll put five more minutes. George, he broke it the first time I were here. Oh, we also, well, I don't think he can help with Robert, but maybe. But I've never had any issues since then. Will you have the income you need for retirement? Oh, fuck. Do we do about it? A plan guaranteed in writing not to lose a dime. Guaranteed returns. Income for life. Call now for a free retirement evaluation and get a free best-selling book. For now, <laughs> just let's get through the show. All right, coming back. Ten seconds. Grab your guns. And now that the Bobulinski testimony has proven Biden's corrupt, should the GOP impeach? Join me at four. Yeah. Ripped off. Bad news. You need advice so you don't have to lose. We'll come running just as fast as we can. Troubleshooter's gonna help the common man. This is the Troubleshooter Show. Now, Tom Martino. 
Hi, Tom Martino here. Welcome to the show. 303 talk 303 We had an insurance question. I think it was a good one. I want to ask Brian Burns, Compass Insurance Group, home of the free insurance checkup. Remember that you can always get an insurance checkup by simply calling 303 303- it's 996-9000. I got it. Three hundred three nine nine six nine thousand. I had a brain fart there for a minute. But in any case, let's talk about this. So we're getting calls, Brian, that are people are really, and by the way, you're inundated by calls with the townhomes and the condos because of the roof and the, the HOA is yep. looking for coverage and all of that. And that's a whole different topic. But now we have people upset with vehicle registrations in the state of Colorado going out of hand. And we have people, and, and Brian, uh, you, you're not a police officer. You don't have to enforce the law, but, and you don't have to give me names, but people are registering expensive vehicles out of state. They have, they're just doing it. There's Montana's one state. Another state is uh, South Dakota. And, and another one is Idaho. And they're registering... Yep cars and then the plates are sent to them through the mail okay what i what some what someone asked is and by the way they're not lying to the state they're not saying that they live there or anything they're not and and what i'd like to know is um does that affect insurance if i live here in colorado and I have an expensive car or a motorhome, and it's registered somewhere else, does, does insurance care? Are they going to look for a reason not to pay me? No, it, it wouldn't be an issue of not having coverage. Here's, here's the issue. Most states are going to require that you have insurance in their state in order to get the registration. So, obviously, Colorado is for sure. If you try to register a car here in Colorado, they have to have proof of Colorado insurance. So when people register out of states, a lot of times what they find is they have to insure it in that other state as well. But if they insure it in that other state, but it's domiciled, you know, does, does that company say, hey, you were... Uh... If, if they find out about it, they would just not renew and say, no, you have to be domiciled in this, or you have to be here at least 50% of the time. But it's not, I, I want to stress, it's not a coverage issue. In other words... You have an accident. No, I get it. I get it. So are you saying you. then if I register my car in if I register my car in uh Colorado like it is and I mm-hmm. really am living most of the time, most of the time, let's say 99 98% of the time in another state and I just come back here to see my kids or something, am I going to get in trouble with my insurance or they don't the insurance doesn't care as long as it's registered here and insured here would i be covered in oklahoma or in florida or in arkansas you would yep you would not be in trouble from an insurance standpoint <laughs> i know that there's some uh rules as far as with the dmv of what their expectations are from but from a standpoint of insurance it wouldn't be a coverage issue so as wait, wait if i concern. call you then and mm-hmm. i wink wink i have my car registered in south dakota brian would, can yep. you write a policy that would be effective there for them? Well, so you're saying a South Dakota policy? I, well, I don't know. I've never even heard of a yeah. South Dakota. I thought a policy is a policy is a policy. No, it's a policy is not a policy. So what, what I'm telling you is if you try to go register your car in South Dakota, when you try to register it, in, and I don't know about every state, but most states are going to require that you also show them proof of that state's insurance. Well, what do you mean that state's registered. insurance? Progressive, I'm sure, is there just like it's here. Yeah, but there's a progressive. You have to write the policy in South Dakota. There's a South Dakota form for progressive. Are you kidding there's a Colorado me? Colorado form. Oh, no, no. If you're, if you're writing it, it's a Colorado. If I write in other states, which we do, we write in other states, I have to specifically go and put that state rating state in to build because rates are different too it's all different oh man so what do you call it the insurance must be written under the state's what that where your car is registered and it's under the state laws or under the state form you mentioned what is he, what do you mean yeah so the insurance like so whatever a county you're trying to register your car in when you when you go there 
you always are needing to provide proof of insurance when you're registering a new car. When you do okay, that, they're it. going to look and say, this is not, you know, if you came to Colorado and you, you had South Dakota insurance, they'd say, no, you've got to have Colorado insurance to register the car here. Okay, I'm going to ask you something crazy. Are, are there any states that don't require insurance anymore? I don't know any states that don't require insurance. What I don't know how to answer you is if there's a state that doesn't require insurance from that state. I, I, almost every state that I'm aware of does, but there might be a state out there that doesn't care as long as you show insurance. Um, you know what? I used to be, I, I used to live in Florida, going to college. And when I lived down there, there was no insurance required. Did you know that? Mm-mm. Yep. That was a long time ago, yeah. of course. Um, yeah, and, and, and Florida is its own world with insurance. Obviously, we don't right there, but it's, it's got, uh, it is one of the toughest states in the entire country to get insurance. Where, Florida? Yeah, specifically home. I, I, I should classify that. Home insurance is almost impossible to get there. You have to, a lot of people have to go to the state-funded insurance now. Okay, well... Brian, thanks for the answer. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Um, we have an auto insurance. Was that Robert who was that? Yeah, Robert. That's another one Robert has. But that's not about insurance. That's about recourse. Um, I think we Wait, is this a new call, Robert, with your auto insurance? Is that a new call? I think it is, yeah. Robert, sorry. I thought it was the same one. Yeah. Robert? Yes, sir. What's going on with you, man? I'm here. What's happening? Nothing. I uh, so I I did an auto uh, claim. I hit a curb and uh, popped some tires and they need front alignment some tires, and I have a dent on my door. Yeah. Uh, that I backed into something, and so I tried to make a claim on my insurance. I have perfect driving record, perfect insurance. Um, they made me make two claims for five hundred dollars each because they're five hundred dollars deductible. Uh, because they said it was two different occurrences. I said, well, I'm trying to fix it all wait at once. Wait a minute. I thought oh, you yeah, said, wait, different. wait. So when you hit the curb, you did, what damage yep. did you do? I popped, I popped a tire a bit, two rims, and do my front end alignment out. Okay, so you on bumped. A different occurrence. Now, I, okay, a lot of times it's not worth doing that kind of coverage because, but okay, so you hit a curb and you, you damaged tires and, uh, and wheels, okay? Um, but then, yep. what about the dent in the back? The, on the, it's on the door. So I was, uh, it snowed out. This and was, I, was this a previous, yellow. was this a previous accident? About a week before, yes. Ah. Yeah, so, and so I got, so I, what my problem is, though, is um, they made me make two claims. Yep, I had a rental car for almost That's proper, two months. by the way. That is proper. Yeah, no worries, but here's the kicker now. Uh, I've already had it at the body shop. The car's done, but now they're reviewing the second claim. What I mean, do what do you mean reviewing? The car's Why? done. Why? I don't know. I don't know because they're telling me that the insurance hasn't paid them for the claim, and my car's sitting there waiting. And right now at uh, Bruce How Bill much Collision is the second Center, claim? I just, they're both five hundred dollars or thousand dollar claim, but they uh, exceeded Wait, no, my no, five hundred dollars no, no. for asking, both of them. No, hold, please hold. They, they're yeah. only. You're telling me. Total damage on your car was a thousand dollars for each claim. Uh, it was no for each claim. I think it was seven on one and uh, over uh, six hundred, seven hundred on the other one. So with now, the two claims, Robert, Robert, they, they, why, why would you file? Why, why would you file an insurance claim with seven hundred dollars worth of damage and five hundred dollars worth of damage? I don't. It doesn't even make sense to me. It's over my. It's that's what they estimated it at. It was more than that, Robert. So, Robert, are you talking under, about under, Robert? What is your deductible? I think you're really confused. What is your deductible? Five hundred dollars. Okay. How much was the entire claim? Number one for the wheels and tires. How much was that claim? Seven hundred fifty dollars minimum. You mean to tell me? You had a $750 claim, and even if it was a $1,000 claim, you put in an insurance claim and paid 500 of that just to get that $500 from insurance. Is that right? 
to get it fixed and to okay, get Okay, let me explain this to you, Robert. Work. I hate it. If you have a $1,000 claim, I know this sounds silly, and you have a $500 deductible, the question is, should you use it? Well, of course, it's your insurance. So you pay $500, your insurance pays $500. Right. But, but let me explain what that does to you. It's going to cost you more than $500 when they raise your rates. And that claim's going to go against you. Now you had two claims, and what's worse is you had two claims in one month. So now they do okay, $500 on one and $500 on another. You, you, it, what, what I'm saying is it wasn't worth putting in a claim for the devastation it's going to do to you. They may not renew you because you had two claims. You have way more problems than this second claim. I, I mean, how much was well, the second what? claim for that? How much was that dent to repair? If you took it in off the street to repair it without insurance, how much would the second dent have cost you? Twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars. Twelve to fifteen hundred. Again, I know people think this is weird. They ask me, "Why would you have insurance if you can't use it?" You can use it, but first of all, I need to tell people this: you should have a minimum, a minimum of one thousand dollar deductible, or a max a minimum. Yeah, not five hundred. In fact, if you can have a twenty five hundred dollar, if you could put in a CD twenty five hundred dollars for accidents, a CD. A savings take it out okay. and have a twenty five hundred dollar deductible your insurance rates would be astronomically lower and that twenty five hundred would be earning interest and if you don't get into an accident you won't use it if you do get into an accident you will still be far ahead so your first mistake okay. was you only had a five hundred dollar deductible your second mistake is you actually used it so now I just want you to know, even if the second claim is paid, they're going to say bye-bye to you. What's the name of the insurance company? It's kept for insurance, but guess what? I have a perfect record. So my insurance, I was paying $350. I got another insurance claim, uh, another insurance to uh, text and something, $235. I'm saving over $100. I've already ch changed over. My car is... Hold on. Hold on. Wait, so the old company... Up. You, you're no longer with that old company. You know, because you did, they did exactly what you said. They gave me a non-renewable. So oh, so they did cancel. Wait, wait. So they did cancel you. Yes. And here's what's amazing yep. to me. You're an amazing person, Robert. You got canceled for excessive claims, yep. and another company did not care. Nope. Are you sure kidding? Enough. Are you really – okay, I got to get Compass back on. Okay, this is – I want to know what you did and how you did it. Did you get the new... I just don't know. I've never heard of somebody being canceled for excessive claims. I never heard of a company doing that, ever. And, and another company I've picking you up cheaper. It, your yep. payment is $235 a month? Yep. Okay, hold on. Yes, hold on. Brian, I don't know. Brian is still there, but... He is still there, but we got a break, Tom. Oh, my God, this is unbelievable. We'll break. We'll come right back. Are you over 30, 30 seconds? This Insurance, it's shit. time to get a quick quote from Ethos. A better... So John has a new topic Sue's so wanted you to know. It's ah, on the crap. call. Down. Hold on. Answer a few questions and... It's on the call screener. It's just about Wait, where it is it? What should minutes? I do? It's right there. Oh, about the out of state? Yeah, that's his new topic. No medical exam. Ten seconds as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. So you see, we've been talking about people registering their cars out of state. And I'd like to ask John Fuller, he's a personal injury attorney. He runs across accidents all the time. Of course, he represents people and he does it, the, well, I like to say the right way by actually taking the case and not pawning it off to someone. And John Fuller, what I'd want to know is, does this present a problem when somebody from with an out-of-state, whether they live here or not, if it's an out-of-state registration, does it, does it make things weird for collection? Well, it, he, Brian from Compass was exactly right. Most of these states that if they allow you to register the car in that foreign state, they're going to require a compliant policy of insurance in that state. So as an example, you can register your car in Idaho, but then you're going to have to have an Idaho 
insurance policy. Why does that matter? Because Idaho doesn't have a lot of the same provisions and rules that we have in Colorado. So as an example, they don't have medical payments coverage. So the coverage that you need to have on your Colorado policy and the coverage that every medical provider is looking for as a way to get that initial payment squared away is all of a sudden not there and not even available. The rules regarding subrogation and who gets paid back, all of that stuff is very different from state to state to state. And so when you choose to save a few bucks by registering out of state, you may in fact cost yourself an awful lot of money when it comes time to have a claim in the state in which you normally reside and you normally are because that's where you're most likely to have an accident. So if you do that, please be careful. If you want to talk state to state, sometimes I can, I can help out. Uh, with some rudimentary analysis and, and help answer those questions. But it is a real thing. It is a problem sometimes, and it's something you need to be very aware of uh, before you go and make that step. Wow, that's really in good, good information. And, and just real quick, does it, affect, does it affect when somebody injured you when it's not your insurance but their insurance, like they're coming after somebody? If you have a client going after somebody who's registered in another state, not their own insurance, but go yeah, ahead. It, go it, ahead. It, it absolutely can, Tom, because coverage differences vary from state to state. And so, as an example, we may have somebody that has a Texas policy. Texas only has a $20,000 mandatory liability coverage. Um, or Florida, where they actually don't require any liability coverage at all. And so they can have a completely complying policy in the state where they're from, but find yourself without any coverage at all in Colorado. So it can present some huge problems. Again, really the moral of the story, Tom, is if you're going to be the guy that gets hit by somebody else, you really owe it to yourself to make sure that your coverage is locked, you know, locked in perfect so that no matter what right. the other guy has, you're covered. That, that rule never changes. Yeah, and that's what uh, Compass does recommend along with John Fuller, full coverage for yourself, uninsured, underinsured, medical payments. By the way, John Fuller is the guy to call with any accident, free of charge, no charge, and then a percentage fee basis if he takes the case. And then, of course, he tenaciously fights for you and collects 303-597-4500, 303-597-4500. If addiction, trauma, troubleshooter show, what is your first name? Josh, hi, in a sentence or less. What did you want to talk to Tom about on the show today? Suing for perceived loss. Got it. Good question. Hang tight. Listen to the phone. Now, did you hear that? Just that segment I did. On uh, the duck. Yeah. That's a segment. Yes. I could do a segment like, you know, and you take that 2500 you put it in a CD, you save up. Oh, no, trust me, I was listening intently. I was you like, save a shitload of money. The whole point of this from Joel, is how well it's executed, but is to be informative, to be empowering. Like, that's all. That's all I do. If we find a problem, present a solution. And that's exactly what's happening. Okay, Robert, we have our expert on, so hang tight. You're next. That is what you do. But when you communicate, I would lead with that. Right. You should make a warm introduction. Oh, of course. And then yeah. I will, and if he wants me to call, I will. Yeah. I should mention age at this point. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I. Interested. That was my favorite thing. Telephone. 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 Tel
Yeah. What's that, Doc? You don't want to hear from your doctor? That was my favorite thing to tell, tell a patient. Yeah. We got, we got paid much better for surgery than for office time. See, I can show you. Oh, I want to do it. <laughs> I had five people tell me they were going to text me back with information so I could close my cases. Really? One of them have. <laughs> Those muffins are pretty good, aren't they? What was that? Those muffins are pretty good. Yeah. That's a good shop. Chopper doesn't love me. He only brought... Gluten Ten in. seconds. <laughs> in Wealth, K House Studios. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. TrajanWealth.com. Hi, Tom Martino here, 303 713 Talk. God, we have so much going on right now. Hey, Brian, I want to ask you something. Brian is from Compass Insurance Group. We still have the dating scam, I promise you we'll get to. And then don't forget fixmyhome.com. Um, we're going to tell you what it can save you in a minute here for 20, uh, what it, it's uh, $24 and seven cents in honor of fix it 24 seven fix my home.com for extreme clean and check of your furnace. But Brian, I got to ask you this, this guy, yeah. Robert had two claims in a month, a perfect record, but two claims in a month because he had his wheel and tire, he hit a curb and then he had a dent from the week before snowstorm. And they made him file two claims and then cancel them. Uh, can you? <laughs> now, with a perfect record, can you get canceled for two claims in a month? You absolutely can. Yep. Why? Well, you can, let me make it clear. You can't get canceled. You can get non-renewed. They can't cancel you. Well, that's what he so means. must have been coming up on a renewal. Yeah. Then, okay, they would not remove. Re then, he, but he was able, and tell me why, he was able to go out and find insurance cheaper than the one he had. So I, I was listening to the, the conversation. And, and your advice, by the way, to never make a claim, like that would be my advice as well. It's just too little of a payout um, for a collision claim like that because they're at fault. But as far as finding a better price than he was paying, the only thing I could guess is, one, they maybe didn't they – didn't, know about the claims. In other words, when they, they pulled the clue report, the claim history, uh, it wasn't reported yet or hasn't, hadn't been updated yet. That's one possibility. The other possibility is he was paying way too much for insurance before, I guess. I, I don't know. All right, listen. Um, it is... It, okay. So what about deductibles? When do you not save money? Well, that's the, I mean, I was listening to your advice there, too. I carry higher deductibles as well. But I, there are times where, like, going from 1000 to 2500 doesn't reward the person enough. Now, I'm with you. You wouldn't want to make a claim for under 2500 in most cases, in my opinion, for a collision. But if you had a big loss, let's say you had a $30,000 loss, you'd make the claim, and you'd be out that 2500 So it, it has to reward you. Enough. Well, that's what I'm asking you. Premium. You've done the math. You're a genius at well, this. What What is the magic number for saving where beyond that it doesn't save you that much? I would always say that in, well, it, this is a judgment call for people is the problem. And if you're paying very little, let's say you have some older cars, but you're carrying collision and comprehensive on it. If you go from 500 to 1,000, it might save you 20 bucks. But if you have a Mercedes or a, you know, whatever, an expensive vehicle, and you have bad driving record, you're paying four or $5,000 for your auto insurance, it makes a big difference. So it really depends on what your premium is. It's not necessarily as easy as saying, always do this. Okay. So you do the math. Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, so, so if you do have a low deductible, that doesn't mean you should use it all the time. Right. That's right. Okay. Yep. I, yeah. That's, that's what that means. It, it, but, it, you know, and people were like, well, then why am I carrying it? Well, if you have a big claim, you're still out only that lower deductible. It, you know, to me, if it pays itself back within three years, two years, whatever, you, whatever your threshold is, it's worth it to carry the higher deductible, in my opinion. 
Uh, some people are like, but I can't come up with 2500 or or 1000 I, I understand that. So it, it's really more of a, uh, you know, a per-person choice on that. Here's what I want to know. If you have a $500 deductible and you use it for a $1,000 claim, literally, or $1,200 yep. claim, do they say, well, it's not that much, we don't mind, or do they think this guy's a pain in the ass? I, I really need to know. Does it count against them the same as a big claim? So for your current carrier that renews, the state doesn't, the insurance commissioner doesn't allow them to surcharge for a, a loss less than $1,000. But if you go to a new carrier and you have a $500 claim, they absolutely can charge you and they'll charge you for it. Now, it, but it, what it, I want to know is this. Can they not renew you good. for little claims? Well, yeah, you can get non-renewed for really almost anything because it's their choice at renewal. They're basically offering you a new policy at renewal. Okay. Now, okay, here's the question, though. If you had two small claims or two big claims, does it make a difference? Yes, it does. It does make a difference. If it's under a $1,000 claim, now, if it's over a 1000 it doesn't matter. It's the same as if you were... Uh, you know, you had a $100,000 claim versus a $5,000 claim. You're charged the same. The only reason I would hesitate on that is if you're trying to get underwriter approval. You're, you're like the, the system is saying you need to talk to an underwriter. An underwriter, an actual person, will differentiate between the two. But, you know, just the, the quick black box that gives you a, a rate, it doesn't differentiate. You're, you're being charged for that smaller claim like you would a large claim. Until when? What does, what does count the, the number? Over 1,000 is where you're going to see all insurance companies charging you for it. Okay. And, and they charge you the same if it's um, a $1,000 claim, or excuse me, a $1,200 claim, or a yeah. $100,000 claim. Yep. Other than if you're dealing with an underwriter, an actual person that you're trying to get an exception for the account, which we do, you know, sometimes it, the, the system will say, no, nope, we won't approve this, but you need to talk to underwriting. And then when you talk to underwriting, they'll look at the accounts and, and they would differentiate. A person would differentiate between the two. Okay. But there, if you, if you go to underwriting, system, yes, but, exactly. but you'd have to have a broker that does that for you, right? Yes. Yes, if you're going on to Tyco or one of those, it's it's black box. It's you're getting the rate, and it's either going to accept it or not, or charge you or not. It, there's no discussion. Okay, man, this is really good stuff. So you need a broker who can actually talk to underwriting for special circumstances. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely, absolutely, and and even more so on the homes because. They will, you know, there, there's gray areas where you can talk to underwriting and you can, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've discussed water losses and explained, hey, this is what happened and they replaced this hose and this has all been cleaned up and I've gotten exceptions to be able to write accounts that would have been a, it would have been a, a decline right away. Man, that's incredible. Okay. I'm telling you, I love this information. I appreciate it, Brian, at Compass Insurance 303-996-9000 this is denver's talk station with tom martino now dan Kaplis today now, at Robert, 4 6 30 k-h-o-w denver um, i'm gonna go back to me now but I need impact to to traffic this report is sponsored by okay. murdoch's ranch and home sounds good Brief slowdowns into downtown as we hit the noon hour. I-25 northbound after Alameda. Stall in the right lane at stop and go traffic back from Lincoln Street. We're seeing three to five minutes of delays. Heading northeast of there through Commerce City, I-270 westbound at Vasquez. Road work in the right lane has gummed up traffic back from I-70. Once again, about five minutes of delays. I-70 eastbound, it's easy driving to DIA this afternoon. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, mostly sunny skies. Another warm one today, high 66. We're going to be seeing highs in the 60s for the next few days. Sunday, high of 55 with scattered showers. And the snow is back again on Monday. The current temperature in Denver is 61 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark's Prepare warm. for spring at the Spring Ahead 15 seconds. Ranch and Home Supply. Through March 26, enjoy savings on muck, muds, and bogs boots, DeWalt tools, yard care items, and more, including Kodiak gun safes. Shop in store or online at Murdochs.com. Genesis Total Exteriors.com. That name says it all, doesn't it?
everything on the outside of your house, which means we've been talking about insurance. What if you have insurance damage? You have one person to go to, a trusted name, Mark Shemansky and his team at Genesis Total Exteriors, roof, soffits, um, and he does the fascia and the uh, siding. He can even uh, fix stucco or change you and upgrade you to stucco, windows, doors, decks, railings, painting, it all. Just genesistotalexteriors.com plus home improvements. As I said, I've known him for years on my referral list at referralist.com as well. 303-679-8509. The Art of Granite, someone else I've known for years, Mitch Fluria. You know, you don't get better service than going to Mitch, call him first, tell him what you want, get a price on the phone, not just granite, but any countertop, man-made or natural stone, and they do the fabrication and installation. That's what they char charge for. You get wholesale on all the materials, tear out and haul away is free. You need to call them and get your price right now. No one else does it. And then they have plenty of incentives to keep you uh, in the game at a lower price, 303-386-5919, 386-5919. Frank Duran, the real estate man. Com. What Frank does is a free market valuation of your home. Some people call it an evaluation. doesn't matter what it is. Is a picture of what your house will sell for based on his 30 years experience and the market comparables, interest rates, supply and demand. He knows all of this because he sells more homes than anyone. That's Frank Duran, the real estate man.com 303 920 1622. Realtors, builders. Anything we can get that hit before one? Tomorrow, come on. No, for sure. Can we? Hey, listen, I have an idea. Suze, What's up? Can yeah, you ask Lucretia if we can call her back after one o'clock and we will definitely get her on first up? Rather than making her wait, because I. Lucretia, Tom wants me to call you back after one o'clock. Can and, I have your and, phone number? And get her first up, first up. Tell her that. Okay, call you back here in just a bit. Oh goodness! Wow, busy freaking show. Oh, here, so let me show you this. So we're back here. Well, this was when she was on channel. But she's doing this picture. Hey, Tom, Premier has nothing about snow shoveling or any of that shit on there. I just put on there what they got on there. Ask me how, to, okay, since her, her freaking.
Ten seconds. Dot com. Denver's talk station. Online at khout.com. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter. 303-713-TALK. 713-8255. Man, we, we are busy. We are going to, uh, after the first, uh, after the hour, I mean the top of the hour, we're going to go to um, more on the dating scam because I, I had to put that on hold for a minute because I want to help people who've been waiting. Uh, Robert still has that original problem. We're trying to solve that on what you do, but I don't think you could do anything, Robert, if they're questioning the claim. That doesn't mean they're going to turn it down. Are you there, Robert? Let me get through you real quick. So the reason you called wasn't because of the, the non-renewal. You called because they're questioning the second claim. Are, why are they questioning it? Right. Robert, why are they questioning it? I don't know, it? but my car's I don't know, but they're, they're, the car's done, and I'm paying out of pocket for reimbursement, and I've already run out of uh, the, the 30 days on each one of those claims, even if they're going to put it on that. I've spent $2,400 on a rental car, and my car's done, and they're Wait still dragging What are they questioning? About- are they questioning the rental car, or are they questioning the repair? The repairs, I guess. They're, they're, they haven't paid the uh, How the, much the is car, that second the, claim? The body shop. How much is the second claim? I don't know, but they still haven't paid them, so I can't get my car back. And no, I'm like, I get it, bro. I, I get it. I get it. The, why are yeah. they? You need to talk to your agent. Why are they questioning the claim? It's, it, it's right now. It's the body shop is telling me they're they're giving them a hard time. But it's not why? me. They're giving the body Did shop. You, a hard do you time. have uh, who's your insurance or, or that? Not the one now, but That's the one true. handling those claims. Temper insurance. Temper. And they won't, every time I call them, they just, they, yeah. And they just Do keep you on have an about agent? Everything. Do and you have an agent? They, they keep calling me up to different agents every time. And different All right, I'm going to give this to somebody to call and find out. We need to find out why they're questioning the claim. So who's in the studio? We, uh, Chopper, what? can you take a, ch- a stab at this one? Um, let's do it. Thank you, sir. Oh, you hold Thank on. You. I'm going to give yes. it to somebody to start making some calls to see if we can find out why... Uh, look, I, I can't do magic, but we'll find out why they are doing this. I mean, I have no idea why they are questioning a claim. Um, so sorry about that, but I'm telling you, man, um, it, it, it's going to be that once they question a claim, it's a pain in the ass. Hold on. Now, I want to go to um, uh, David. David, go ahead. What's going on with you, David? Yes, uh, I remember in the past you had mentioned that you had given someone permission to use, like, a drive, I don't know, uh, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, whatever it was. Oh, I remember. And, uh, it was eminent domain. Upset. Here, let me, let me explain that to yeah, you, and then you and- can give me your problem. I had some commercial property, and Wendy's mistakenly built their drive through encroaching on my property. And it was like, uh, it, it ha- it, I noticed it when I was getting ready to sell my commercial property. And it was I- a Taco Bell. What's, oh, it was, that's right, Mark. It was Taco Bell. You're right. You're right. So I decided in, in order to keep them from claiming it as their own, I wrote an agreement letting, I, I sent them permission saying, your land is encroaching on my property at such and such. And I sent the survey and I said, I hereby give you permission a revocable permission or something like that. So what that did, let me just explain why I did that. And I thought it was ingenious, but because if you have an obvious encroachment on your property and you do nothing about it, it's called a hot, what what is it called? Adverse possession. And they can claim ownership of it in a certain amount of time. So I just cut that off. They can never claim ownership and I can even revoke permission at any time. You know, their attorney even joked and said, damn it, you shouldn't have given us permission. You know, I mean, so it was uh, it was fun. What is your so what about you? Yeah, and that's why I had mentioned that. Um, and it's called, I guess, adverse possession. As what ha- is to, it I'm happening thinking, to you? Uh, eminent domain. Well, no, I just I just I, I've got to get out to a property that I purchased uh, last August. 
And I was just thinking, boy, I haven't been there in seven months. What, what if there's like a squatter or something? Okay. And I was seven wondering months, how long seven months it would is take enough. for somebody. It, it would have to go on for years to be adverse possession. But you should go out and okay, visit your years. property. Yeah. Right, I've got to get out there. I just, uh, right, it's, it's just a long dirt road. I was going to move out there, but uh, I'm having second thoughts. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, that was the whole thing. So it's, it, it would And by the way, years. it's not eminent domain. There's two different things you're talking about. Eminent domain, right. you can't give permission and all of a sudden control the situation. That's, that's about adverse possession. Uh, as far okay, as eminent good. domain, you basically can't do anything about eminent domain. You go to the court, and the judge <clears> has <throat> to rule if it's in the public interest to take your land. And that's only a government entity or a bonding district or someone, even if it's a com private commercial business, it goes through the government because they think it, there's a need for it. Okay, I was mistaken. Uh, so anyway, the, ba the main thing is that it would have to take uh, quite a while before that could happen. Someone. That's exact. Okay. That's right. That's right. So you don't have to worry about it so much. All right. Thank All you right, for thanks. calling. 303-713-8255. Real quick. Um, so uh, we have uh, Josh uh, suing for uh, – what is uh, – Josh, what do you want to sue for? Well, I talked to you guys a while ago. I was the one with the Samsung refrigerator that they gave me a coupon that you can't use. Wait, wait, why couldn't you, I, I forget, why couldn't you use that coupon? I'm trying to look up your original oh, call. kept giving me errors, and then they'd say they don't deliver to my area. And I probably spent about 20 hours on the phone with them. But I haven't bought a new refrigerator yet. My question is, can I sue them for the sort of perceived value of the coupon, or do I actually have to buy something and have the law? Well, here's the point. If you have a loss... Is the loss a result of what? You had a warranty on the Samsung, is that right? Well, there are class action lawsuits against the iPhone. But yours was so eight years old, right? A Samsung? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and, and the ice maker was irreparable, so therefore they sent you a 50% off coupon, and I figured an eight-year-old refrigerator, that's not so bad, right? Then Right. So what's wrong with 50% off? Nothing, but you can't use the coupon. Okay. Nobody can figure out how to get it to work. We, when you go to a store, they don't know what to do with it. You have to do it on Samsung's website directly. And when you go to Samsung's website, what happens when you try to use it? When you put the coupon code in, it says coupon code not valid. Did you call them and tell them that? I probably have over 20 hours on the phone with them, and they can't solve it. I Okay, I would sue them for the value of that coupon for breach of contract. Mark knows how to do that, uh, and he's not going to give you legal advice, but he can tell you how to do it because they, they already acknowledge you get that coupon. You have the coupon. Right, but do I have to buy a fridge first and experience the loss? Mark, what do you think, Mark? I'd have to hear it again. Say it again. Here's the bottom line. He had a bad refrigerator. They couldn't repair it. They gave him a brand. They said, you can have 50% off a new one. They gave him a coupon. The coupon can't be used. When he puts the number in, they say it's bad. And then um, every time he calls them, he gets someone else. So basically, that 50% coupon is worth nothing. The question is, can he sue on the coupon himself in small claims if you were going to do that? We're only talking about what you would do. You're not giving him legal advice. Or do you have to wait till you buy a refrigerator and experience the loss? What do you think? No, I'd go after the coupon. Me I'd just too. say breach of contract. Me too. And that's all I would say. I wouldn't say anything beyond that in the uh, form. That's all. That's all you say. Don't get into the weeds. I'm Tom Martino. We have to take this break. Now, impact traffic. This report is sponsored by Silk. Feel plenty good. Shop wherever you find groceries. Significant delays through the downtown area for the early afternoon commute. I-25 northbound after Alameda. Crash blocking two right lanes. 
has stop and go back from university. We're seeing a 7 to 10 minute delay. Northeast of there, I-270 westbound at Vasquez Road. Construction continues in the right lane with slow driving back from I-70. About 10 minutes of delays there. Your standard drive throughout the Denver Metro. Otherwise, I-70 eastbound. It's easy commuting to the Denver Metro. Fox 31 at Pinpoint Weather. Mostly sunny skies today. Warm the next few days with a high of 66 this afternoon. Overnight low of 35. High 62 tomorrow. High 68 on Saturday before things cool down on Sunday. The current temperature in Denver is 63 degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630 KHO. Feel planted. 15 seconds. Separating silk into your morning routine. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you find groceries. You know, Sheridan Auto Tech has been with me for many, many years. Uncle Kevin and his team treat you like family. They treat me like family. I'll tell you what, Uncle Kevin will be honest. His team is uh, forthright when it comes to repairs, major repairs, minor repairs. It doesn't matter. They'll never do you wrong. Isn't that great to say about an auto repair place? And the knowledge and experience, electrical issues as well, 303-455-7242, worth the drive, no matter where you're going. Don't pick a place based on where it's located. You know why? Because you need, this, you need to get it fixed right. He can even do your car while it's under warranty. And find out more at SheridanAutotech.com. He's on Colfax, just west of uh, um, whatever, Wadsworth. Anyway, <laughs> SheridanAutotech.com. Hey, Frank Duran, the real estate man, I can't say enough about Frank. I've known him for so many years. I just talked to him this morning. He says, Tom, the market is still on fire. We can help, and there's more homes becoming available. Some people are moving out, unfortunately. Yeah, moving out of state. But Frank can handle it. First, get a full evaluation of your home to see what it will sell for. He'd love to give you that information free of charge. A complete analysis, 303-920-1622, 920-1622, frankdurantherealestateman.com. KNH Home Solutions, the oldest or one of the oldest home improvement companies in all of Colorado. I've known all the owners, the original owner, Ted Rowland, and now Lee Diamond, good people. They're doing bathrooms now, so you can depend on this company for everything. You know, they do, of course, your exterior, all of the exterior from the roofing, siding, gutters, uh, windows, and more. But now, bathrooms. So give them a call. You won't be disappointed. 303-421-7100. 421-7100-khwindows.com. I'm here with Sean. Jeff, where were you before here? Remind me. Oh, before here? Uh, I was at a uh, sports radio station. You didn't like it? Uh, no, I liked it. Okay, we're gonna go okay. work my way. Perfect. We're gonna no, do it right now. Just I basically work my way. Talk efficiency and get in and out. I you got it. I'm oh, sorry, I'm putting you on. Oh, you got it. So, when, so, so Westminster, we're here. That's kind of where I got Okay, so opinion real quick. Yeah. I have this kid that I've known since he was three. Yeah. He's graduating a good at, out of Colorado of Springs yeah. with a um, really good. communications degree yeah. and yeah. Is, yeah. loves sports. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just wondering, how does a kid like that, he's getting ready to graduate, where does he start in trying to get his foot in the door? Like with what you guys do and everything yeah. else. Well, it's tough because when I, when I came out of school, a lot of companies thought internships. So yeah, and I they in, don't. I know. interned for sports radio and then they hired me out of my internship. Yeah. So that's the tough part because that, that would be my first thing is to say, obviously, go shout out, go intern, which he could maybe still go and maybe make some connections. That's probably the biggest thing. But now, without as many internships as people have, it's tough. Dude, now, was your internship paid? It was not, no. So you got to be willing and able to yeah. put your butt out there for free, basically. Yeah, it was basically a tryout, you know, for a while. So, um, But I would say to you, I mean, is he a part of it? Does he do anything with a college radio station or anything? That I don't know. Yeah. I don't you should ask him that, because if he does that, he might be able to keep getting experience. He might be able to use that and maybe even just look at some of the openings okay. at certain radio stations and find an entry level and see if, you know, they're willing to, uh, I mean, again, it's going to be something probably where they, you know, say, hey, you know, here's this job where you're going to be working a lot of overnights or a lot of, you know, crazy, you know, a lot of odd hours whenever we need you, but mm -hmm. you might be able to translate that into, you know, one of those entry level positions. Or a lot of people don't like to do it, but, I mean, if you go to small towns, and a lot of small town radio stations will, will definitely hire you. Really? Yeah, but you have to be willing to go to 
<laughs> BFE. That's the yeah. That's the deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Thank you. I'll yeah. tell him that stuff. Yeah. And they don't really have any internships around here, do they? I don't think that. I haven't heard of any. I haven't here, heard. No, and my my past station I was at too. They eliminated them at one point. They did. They, they said, "Hey, this is too much of a liability. We're just not going to do them anymore." It, they were because they people were. I don't know if it, I don't think it was even there. It was just around the United States. Yeah. People were starting to get hit with claims of, "Are you taking advantage of interns? And is this gotcha. should this be, you know, charged wow. labor or what?" And then so a lot of. My, station I was at was just like, nope, we're not going to deal with it anymore. So they got rid of them completely. Wow. Yeah. Where did you learn the board part? What's up? Where'd you learn the board? Here or? Uh, my past stations. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds. With our free iHeartRadio app, while streaming KHOW and the full screen player, just click the microphone to record your message. Talk back to Denver's talk station now. Hi, I'm Tom Martino and Hannah Davis is with us from Fix It 24-7. In addition to having this clean furnace, talk about the efficiency. Well, this is the AC. We're, fi we're finally getting out of the winter months. Right. And people are so excited. So we're doing this deep clean for the AC, prevents breakdowns. But this is the big deal. It also saves you money during the summer heat. You know, they said they can estimate, and they've yes, gone back and tracked up yeah. to 30% it, just to clean it and get it running right. And that's for a normal usage so if you've got i think what was it like an eighth of an inch of debris on there and we've seen yeah, ones yeah, that yeah. Have much much more right. 30 percent increase in efficiency so think about what that means for your system right cooling your home but also your finances during the summer so you're gonna think about this you save like you can save i don't know if you save 30 percent on the bill but it's 30 percent more efficiency yeah. and then uh on top of that you're getting it for 24 dollars and seven cents and they're, honest to God, you can't do better, okay? They just want to show you what they can do for new customers so you'll come back to them. That's all they want, and it's a great deal. FixMyHome.com, FixMyHome.com. More coming up. Support the health of you. 
I'm surprised tanning beds aren't illegal at this point, reading how bad they are for you. Hey, Tommy. Hey. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that's I'll why. talk to okay. you down the line. Hold on. Okay, bye. So, so Suze, somebody on yeah. the ch somebody on the chat has a wrench after their name. Does that mean they have? Why, why would they have a wrench after they name? That usually means... I, okay, first off, that's Tlaib. I don't know why he's still a moderator. Wait, Stone Soup is him? Yeah, that's Tlaib. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, I, I was we just curious. Him. I just wanted to make sure we didn't have somebody in there that shouldn't be No, I, I think probably from... Yeah, just... I'm not... Oversight. I'm not worried about it. I mean... Uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't worry about Tlaib. Okay, cool. Going in there and getting all crazy on us. So, yeah, he has Talib and Stone Soup is his business YouTube. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting like a, a sh oh, I know what's going on. I have my, I had my fader between two cameras and I was getting, f I, oh, it's a cool image. Oh, look on at you. You look ghosty. Ha uh, I didn't That's realize funny. that I could do that. I wonder if I do half and half what happens. Hold on. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Ah. That is weird. Goodness gracious. Yeah, then I cleared it up. So I'm going to do half. Did Hannah leave? What's that? No, she Did Hannah just, leave? She just stepped out. She's on a call. So I'm uh, going to do half she's busy now gal. see what happens. I'm going to be half-assed right now. Come on now, Tommy. There you go. Half-assed. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. It'll come up soon. I, it's such a delay on this. There is such a delay. Come on now, Tommy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There dun, dun. Ah, there that's you are. cool, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> now you just need the big echo, you know, like you're in a big stadium or something. <laughs> like, to yeah. give it all full effect. Like an echo chamber, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize I could do that fading. Did I freeze? No, I didn't. Coolness, man. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go to my one shot. Everyone. It's loves Tommy them. within Tommy. Yeah. All right. So, um, we gotta get. I gotta start doing some entertaining. Ten seconds. We have now successfully transplanted into a living patient a genetically modified pig kidney. Join me on Friday at 6.05. Yeah. Ripped off bad news. You need advice so you don't have to lose. Well, come running, 
just as fast as we can. Troubleshooter's gonna help the common man. This is the Troubleshooter Show. Now, Tom Martino. Hey, I'm Tom. Welcome to the show. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Don't forget, waterpros.net, whole house water conditioning system for around 3500 bucks. These guys are the best ever. And, and I'm just going to say this. They, there's no way anyone can touch their prices or their technology. The water will be good for your plumbing, both your plumbing and your house plumbing. <laughs> be good for your nutritional value, seriously. Get rid of nanoplastics, forever chemicals, all that crap. If you're looking at organic food and then you drink regular water, you're crazy. Waterpros.net, 303 Let's Let's talk. We're going to get our date guy on, but I want to talk to Rich. Rich called yesterday and said, you got to see this movie, Tom. And uh, you didn't tell me it starred Jason, Jason Tatum. I love this guy. Uh, Statum, I mean, Statum. And... Um, I had to pay five ninety nine worth every penny on Amazon. I love that movie. Holy crap. Rich, did you think of me when you saw that guy thinking, I think Tom could do that? Did you think? I, yeah, it's exactly what I thought. <laughs> I, I was so happy when Suzanne, I called Suzanne for something else for a phone number, and um, I said, hey, I said something about the beekeeper with Tom. I called yesterday. She says, oh, yeah, he, she, he was talking about it this morning, and he group texted you guys, you know, to watch it. And I was so, you made my day that you really did go home and watch oh, it. Oh, I sure as hell that, did, that's man. You're a man of the people. I yeah. love, hey, you, you know, know what, what I love? Mean? I love movies like that. Now, there was one other one about public trustees. And um, it, I'm trying to think of the name of the movie. But you ought to watch it if you like those kinds of movies. It's about yeah. uh, some. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, it, it was hey, a movie Tom, about. Wasn't that a nurse who was in the, uh, she ran a nursing home? Uh, and she's the one that took advantage I don't remember, man. It, it's, damn. Um, you know who it starred? Who's that guy from, um, oh, damn. He's, he's a little people. He's, he's um, what's his name? That, you know, that really famous actor. You mean Danny DeVito? No, shit. No, I'm, whoops, I'm, get me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got it. Nixed me. <laughs> I, that, I haven't yeah. nixed myself in, I swear to God, 20 Woo! years. I have, it, that is, yeah. That hasn't happened in 20 years. He was in Game of Thrones. Come on, man. The I don't guy. know his name. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Peter that Jenkins. guy, he is awesome. And he was in this movie about, um, about public administrators. And in, it was just incredible. His name is Peter Dinklage. Oh, okay. And Peter Dinklage. Tom, was yeah. it I Care A Lot? Wasn't that the name of the movie? Oh, my gosh. I, how'd you know that? Because I knew that Rosalind Pike starred in it, so I just Googled Rosalind Pike, and it came up with I Care A Lot. Oh, my God. It's, it's such a good movie. I Care A Lot. Thank you. And uh, so, anyway, thank you, though, for letting us know, Rich. Keep an eye out for consumer uh, no, movies. Yeah, yeah, no problem, Tom. Anytime uh, you and Mark... Doc's a little old, I think, but maybe you and Mark go out and posse up and uh, take someone on like that. I'd love to do it. Well, listen, you know, man. No, no. We're always looking. I'm serious. We're always looking for good uh, good deputies. I swear to you. So, yeah. Suze will talk oh. to you off the air. Suze, Suze. talk to Rick, yep. Rich, man. Suze, I, yep. Suze I'd love to have people as part of the team. No, I appreciate it. All right, man. Yeah. So, hold on. Okay, Suze, talk Thanks. to Rich. And by the way, my YouTube morons by, by proxy would be deputies. But they're, they're, they have to work on YouTube. That's how we communicate. How's that? Okay. And I noticed some people on, on YouTube I haven't seen before, but thank you for being here. And uh, let's go to uh, Jerry. Jerry, what's going on with you, Jerry? Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm having a, a new deck put on the back. Yes. And I just wonder if you've heard of Grandview Deck and Patio. Now, did you hire them first and now you're inquiring about them? No, I just got an estimate from. Oh, them. good, man, good, smart move. And uh, tell me about them. It, what they're called, Grand View. Yeah, deck and patio. Okay. Um, did you do all the normal checks? Not yet. No. Okay. I don't know what else to check. Well, did you check online for reviews? Now, reviews can be faked, but yeah, it, it's worth a look if you didn't do it. Did you? Did you do it at all? No, I haven't. Okay, that's one way to do it. That's, that's not the only one. You should ask them for 
absolutely ask them for references and then you need to check references I i'm serious you can't just depend on um th what they say a lot of people here's what's funny they give references but they don't um they don't people don't check the references grandview deck and patio on yelp is pretty dependable but still they can be faked and the way you know that is you go down the reviews and if there are a bunch of bad reviews and then really good reviews you got a problem you got but this one is not like that this one it looks like they're pretty damn good as far as most of them and only a few bad ones that would be a sign that it's real and you look at the areas it comes from but i would ask for references and then where they get their supplies and literally you call the place the supplier sometimes and say i need to know if this is a good company to deal with how long have you known them i'm, I'm just doing due diligence people love giving information like that but definitely check references now tell me about the bid what tell me about it um and how much deck and how much is it well it's going to be a composite it's 10 by 18 <clears throat> it's about at the house it's about two foot off the ground and out the the 10 feet, it's about 3 foot. 10 by 18. Not real high deck. Okay. Um, replacing the one I have. And, and uh, uh, okay, so 10, 10 by 18, and does it have how many staircases? It'll be just one, and then probably three steps going down. Okay, uh, and what well, about the railing? Normal down. railing? Yeah, we haven't talked about that yet. It's going to be aluminum instead of using composite. The railings? We didn't talk about that. The railings. Yeah. And what kind of composite are you using for the decking? I can't remember what he called it. It's supposed to be something that it, it doesn't stay. It's, it, it's coated with something. It's not supposed to uh, fade. And uh, there's no screws or anything because it, they lag it in on the side somehow. They said it locks together that way. Oh, get the name of it and look it up. Really? Okay. The Internet's a yeah, wonderful got, thing for uh, research. But how much is he saying it is? Uh, about twenty one. Okay, so twenty one thousand, right? And you have yeah. basically a hundred and eighty square feet. Right. Not a big deck. And that's a hundred and sixteen dollars a foot. Now I'm just gonna tell you, on first blush, now it is composite and all that. On first blush, because it's two feet off the ground, so you don't have a lot of su support problems there. First blush it sounds pretty proud, you know? I'm not saying it's a bad, bad, but you got to check them out, okay? And and I yeah. like, I'd like to uh, get the name of that composite. Uh, that would be good. And then if you want to call oh, us one back, here says Pergolast. Is that a composite? It's called Pergolast. Or uh, P E R J O L A S. Now I don't know if that's the thing, you know, or huh? I'm really not sure. Because I have a composite deck, but it, it's 17 years old. Pergolas, P-E-R-G-O-L-A-S. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but I don't, is that yeah, composite that's a decking, or something that's else? That's a decking material, pergolas. That's probably what he's talking about then. Um, okay, you need to look, let's see, you need to look it up. It's, it's, um, I'm looking at it right now. Um, I got I, I need to know more about it, but supposedly, you know, it's getting uh, a lot of people believe in this. But any, you know, a composite doesn't automatically mean no maintenance. Some of it, it gets destroyed. A lot of people put composites in they thought were wonderful and turn out to be crap. But I'm going to look at pergola, pergolas. It, that's what you're calling it, right? Yeah. And I'll look at that and let you know what I find during the break. Here's what I want you to do, though. I want you to, uh, I want to check with somebody. Well, who do I check with? Dex. Um, you know what? Genesis Total Exteriors. I want to try. I want to try to get them on. Suze, do you think we can get Mark on real quick? I'll text him right quick. Let's try to get Mark on real quick. Okay, thanks, uh, Jerry. Hold on, Tony. What's going on with you, Tony? Yeah, we had a um, Disney subscription through Comcast for one year. Yeah. Uh, I, I got noticed that it was renewing. I called. I canceled it. Um, 
I have an email from Comcast saying it's canceled. Uh, after a month, I didn't get a refund. I called Comcast. Now, they what do you said, mean oh, no, a refund? Uh, did they take out for the year or something? Yeah, you're paying advance for the year. Oh, really? So, you? How much did they? T did you cancel before it renewed? Uh. With it, if not before it renewed, within a week or so of its renewal date, as soon as I knew it was renewing, that day I got I an email. It. I get it. No, I get canceled. it. Is this through DirecTV? No, it's through Comcast. Oh, Comcast. Did you did you um, cancel with Comcast or directly with Disney? <clears throat> well, with Comcast, we tried to cancel directly through Disney, uh, but... We were not able to. Long story, bottom line, we were not able okay, to. Okay, got it. Were you given we, this we as a, know. was this as a, an added value when you got Comcast? No, it, we've had Comcast for a decade. No, what I mean is, did you just add added Disney and then t you wanted to remove it. We, yeah, we had it for one year. We I paid get it, for one I get year. it. Disney is really good. I, I mean, this happened to me, actually. I got Disney for some Star Wars stuff my kids wanted, and then they grew up. I didn't want it anymore. They were really easy at doing this. So are you sure? I mean, you don't have any online access. you got to log on there, right, to get to it. Oh, no, you don't. Not with, you don't do that with Comcast, do you? It's automatic access, isn't it? That's right. You don't log on. Is that um, right? That's correct. You just it's through your Comcast television. So you, there's no way television. to log on. You do not if you go to Disney Plus right now, can you uh create an online profile? Because I'm sure if you communicate with them directly, they're going to do it. Well, here's the problem. Um I've tried communicating directly with Disney and with Comcast. Yeah. Comcast says, oh, no, you got to get your money back from Disney. Disney says, no, Comcast hit, took your money. You have to get it back from Comcast. Um, they're playing off each other. I so get, exa I I get exactly what, what you're saying. I go back to Comcast. I say, I want my money back. Final warning. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing we can do. So I went to my credit card company and I disputed $140 of the bill, of the latest Comcast bill. Comcast found out about that. Not only did they charge me, not credit back my first month, they, I mean, my first year, 140 bucks, they charged me again, and they charged a $10 late fee. Wait a minute. So I are you telling me, wait a minute, are you telling me that, they reinstated the 140 and then added an extra 140. Or they however, never go ahead. They never stopped the first 140. So when they got notice from the credit card company that I was disputing it, they charged me again because they know that they're going to lose 140 dollars from. The credit card company. Yeah, but but, but what I want to know is this: the net effect is. Let me know what the net effect is. Is it? Are you are you now paying two eighty, or is it still one forty? As of this very moment, I am paying two eighty plus the late fee. Well, that's ridiculous. I mean, it's totally. Do we have someone it. sues at so, Comcast that can look into this for them or not? Uh, well, I'm not sure. I can't stand uh, Tom. But, yeah. Tom, so um, I got on the phone again with Comcast. Break. I got a, a representative, and I said, look, blah, 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 blah. The representative said, I see, I understand, I agree, I'm going to begin dispute resolution with you. He did that. I, that was a week ago. I just got a text from Comcast saying, be patient. We're still investigating your dispute resolution. Bottom line is that I don't think, <laughs> I think I'm paying $290 for nothing now. And um, I'm not sure I'm, the credit card dispute is going to be successful. I All I can think of that I can do now is sue them. But if I sue them, 
am I going to, are they going to, uh, I almost said a bad word, are they going to uh, cancel me as a customer? Well, they, they, I don't think they will, but you know what? You should take them to small claims court on this. They do have a location here and an agent here. I really would. I swear to God I would. If you have proof you canceled and they charge you twice, it's, it's egregious. So I would. And, and there are, there's a registered agent that you can find on the Colorado Secretary of State. You serve them, yes. As soon as you file that small claim, I guarantee, well, kind of, they're going to cave and just send you the money or whatever. You just got to get their stupid attention. S Suze, do we have someone or not there? No, no. I, I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know if we do or not. All right. We, we have more coming right up. Let's talk about your traditional mortgage. You know, the one that you're strapped with for the next 30 years and pay all interest first to the bank. You know, the one where you have zero access to your equity. <laughs> Stop. That's crazy. On a life changer loan, you pay principal first, not interest. Plus, money flows in and out as you need. So you can pay down, pay off, borrow back as you need. It's not magic. It's just math. So check us out at lifechangerloan.com. That's lifechangerloan.com. Life Changer Loan Corp. is a licensed Colorado mortgage company. NMLS 1863775. Life Changer Loan Corp. is an equal housing lender. You know, I really credit GrossmanWellness.com, Grossman, as a great asset for my health. I've been with them for years and years, and I highly recommend them. For 249 bucks right now, you call them, okay? They will do complete blood work and a consultation and um, really uh, an assessment of your health today. And you can also get, if you want, a carotid scan and other things. But right now, just start with that for 249 and know where you are. And then if you want to join their, their plan for a few hundred bucks a month, I mean, two or 300, you get all of your drugs, all of your supplements, and all of your visits, and all of your blood work, and a concierge doctor at your call, grossmanwellness.com. Hey, I love, uh, I love that Ideal Home Loans has the interest rate guarantee, so if you refinance and rates go down, they refinance you free of charge, idealhomeloans.com. Sheridan Auto Tech does pre-buy inspections for used cars. You know how important that is? and they will give you an honest assessment of that used car. I recommend it. They also do, of course, electrical repairs and then regular repairs and maintenance. You don't do better than SheridanAutotech.com on Colfax West to Wadsworth, and that's SheridanAutotech.com, 303-455-7242. Tommy? Yes. I've got Mark Shemansky holding right for you. Yeah, I'm going to go Okay. To Sweeto. Well, and then I don't know if you want to mention it, uh, but Bob with LEM called and said he could do it for way cheaper than that grand oh, new deck. Oh, really? I love yeah. that. I love yeah. that. He's a good guy. Can you can get him on? Even with Mark Shemansky coming on? Well, I'll talk to Mark, too. I mean, they're both good. Yeah. I mean, let's talk to Mark first and see how you feel. Then then I, if I, yeah, I, I mean, okay. because I wouldn't mind getting I was going to give Jerry mo both phone numbers, good. just so you excellent, know. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, gosh. That's so much to do. What up? Now I can talk to Tom? You can talk to Tom now. Of course, as soon as his lives are over, you're good. Who is hey, this? Hey, Tom. Who is this? Chopper. Oh, go ahead. Chopper. Go ahead. <laughs> Mother. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Hey, that, that auto collision body shop thing and the, the guy, I'll get back to you tomorrow. The body shop just sent me a ton of work, and I've got to talk to three other yeah, people. I, was just so why, today. I just wonder why they're disputing the work. It's the insurance company. They're just not paying. It, the car's yeah. done, like you said. Yep. But the, but but the, the other they, option, not he can always reason. come. He can always pay it, get his yeah. car, and, then and, sue collect, his insurance. Wait, and collect from the insurance company directly. Yeah. So he, at least he has a car. He could sue his insurance for breach, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I told him, Doc. That's what he needs. Crazy. Troubleshooter Show. What is your first name? Copy link. Tom, hey, in a sentence or less, what did you want to talk to Tom about on the show today? Your buddy? Okay. Comment on line one. Hang tight, mister. Thank you. This link. Boop-a-doop-boo. Half hour left. 
you can I've been up since 430 I did four miles uphill on the treadmill this morning I was like <laughs> read, I'm all into walking uphill reading my book oh, nice. oh it yeah, makes time know. fly <laughs> oh, does it? oh yeah. do, do you read it all I do yeah all right really yeah I read okay it, yeah. okay yeah, got got my link. Kindle out yeah it makes time fly when you're just <laughs> sitting there reading your book and walking uphill with your weights Tr- I was like, I have to wow. try walking and reading sometimes. Do you have a treadmill? That. I don't know. Oh. Whew. My daughter's like, oh, I'll just use a, an audio book. I'm, I can't do audio books, but. Only if I'm like on a road trip or something. Yeah, Mark maybe. does a lot of audio yeah. on road trip. I took a sleeping pill. I was dead asleep at 530 when someone called me or text me oh you told me last time oh i'm always up watching tv at 5 30 and i was <laughs> thinking right. of it and i didn't Ten want seconds. to forget so it's like shoot trajan wealth your trusted local fiduciary advisors trajanwealth.com denver's talk station 6 30 k how hi tom martino here 303 talk 713 let's go to uh Genesis. Oh, is he? Did he hang up? We lost him. I just noticed. Damn. Tom's got a comment, though. We'll get we'll get Mark Shemansky back. Tom, what's your comment on the deck? Hey, Tom. Um, I recently had two decks uh, constructed. One almost identical to what your caller described, except it was a ten foot by twelve foot with very low to the ground, with one staircase going down. It was about fourteen thousand hmm. dollars, and my other my other one I had was a little more complicated than that, about a twelve by twenty, with two stairwell two staircases, and it was elevated about four feet, and that was about thirty thousand dollars. So <clears throat> I think he's experiencing the same thing I did, sticker shock, because uh, the, the the one lower deck was a replacement for one I'd had previously that I think I had installed for like $4,500 like 20 years ago. You know, here's the deal. I, I got to go to Mark Shemansky. Thanks for your information. Mark, I, I know you're in a bad cell coverage area. I just wanted to ask you real quick, GenesisTotalExteriors.com, really a great, a great place to go for everything outside, including decks. Now, Mark, you know, this is a 180-square-foot deck. It's 10 by 18. It's two feet off the ground. It's... It's got a pergolo, uh, not pergolo, a pergolos decking, which is a composite, and uh, an aluminum railing, uh, and just a few stairs. And they're asking about twenty-one grand for this. Is, does that sound about right? I'm sorry, Tom. What was the size again? It was 180 square feet, and then it had an aluminum railing, but it had a composite decking. It comes out to about, um, uh, you know, 160 something bucks a square foot, I think. Right. Yeah. That, that seems a little high, but I mean, it is a sticker shock with decks right now. The materials are so expensive. Especially um, the composites, wood, right? It, right. The composites are very expensive. I mean, the nice thing is you, you pay for it, though, and it should last you the life, the life of the deck. Actually, it's 116. Right. I, I was wrong. It's about 116 dollars a square foot. So, um, okay. Have you heard of pergolas before? That particular one, no. But there's new guys coming out every day. I mean, you know, we, we buy a lot of stuff from the Dex Superstore, and if they carry it, I would know about it. But um, you know, there, there's new stuff coming out every day. Somebody else making a composite decking. Well, thank you for your your comment. And the other guy said the same thing. It's right in the price range of what he's seen. Um, you know, Jerry, I want. Did, did you only get one bid on this? Uh, yeah, so far, yes. Do these guys seem like, like good people? Do like you like do you, li- do you like these guys? Yeah, he seemed like he was you know knowledgeable on it, and also the uh, Joyce's were all going to be pressure treated wood. Of course, yes. Good. And he would put a, a waterproof fabric on top of the joists, you know, to keep water, you know, from soaking in a vat. You mean on, uh, he would put the uh, the waterproof on thing, the, I think he means on the ground underneath? No, on top of the joists before he puts the decking on. Oh, okay. A, bi- a vapor barrier, we call that. Good. Excellent. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
And uh, although the composite shouldn't need it, it's an extra measure of, of protection. If you want to get a second bid, we did have one of our people call in, um, LEM Landscaping, on the referral list. He said he could gladly give you a, a bid. So you might want to check him out. I mean, again... LEM Landscaping? It, I'll it, give him the phone number. Isn't that the name? Uh, okay. REM. Did I get that? Oh, excuse me. Did I it's get that It's L-E-M. Wrong? Larry Edward Mary. L -E -M. L-E-M. That's what I meant. Yeah, LEM Landscaping. Exactly. And uh, Ro uh, talk to Bob over there. He's pretty... He really is really good. We, we have really good stuff for him. And, uh, but, but I want you to compare and get a feeling and do what you think is right. All right. Now... When we talk about efficiency and cleaning an AC and all of that, Hannah had it done, I had it done, and people say, why would they spend two hours or more? Why would they go through each and every component of an AC to clean it? And what is the deal? Now, I want to really say this. They're truly not looking to sell you anything. Now, if you need something, they're going to be honest with you, but they're not looking honest. They're not that kind of people, but they do want you to call them in the future, right? Yes. They want to make a friend. Isn't that what this is, making friends? It's making friends. And there really is that intention there. But if you think of it from a business standpoint, Tom, long-term relationships, that's long-term success. So why would you want to make a quick buck in the moment as opposed to having a partnership with the community or customers? That makes sense on a human level, but also on a business level. Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah, I, li I like right? the way you put that, seriously. So really what we're doing is getting you into uh, getting them into your home they put little stickers when they check something so you know when it's been done fixmyhome.com and and there's no gimmick it's real 24 dollars and seven, and seven cents. cents fix it 24 7. you get an extreme clean check and tune of your ac system now there are even small tiny leaks it's better to check them and ch get them now than waiting for it to be before it's a big problem yeah and let me say this real quick the summer, we get so busy, we can't even get to call sometimes because there's emergencies. Yeah. So have this happen now, so you're good to go. Got more coming right up. KHOW Denver, 630 KHOW. An iHeart Radio station. Download the free iHeart Radio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by Allstate. A couple slowdowns throughout the center of town for the early afternoon commute. I-25 northbound at Alameda. Crash has been moved over to the right shoulder. We're still seeing some slow driving back from Santa Fe. Only a minute or two of delays. Not too bad there. Up on the northeast end of town through Commerce City, I-270 westbound at Vasquez Road Work in the right lane has stop and go traffic back from I-70. This one we're seeing about a 10 minute delay. Further east and south of DIA, E-470 northbound. Watch out for some road work just after Pena Boulevard. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, mostly sunny skies, another warm one today. High 66, overnight low of 35. Some clouds rolling in tomorrow with a high of 62. The current temperature in Denver is 63 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. Some people 15 seconds. Best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate. Coming in. Call for a quote today. Joe Lazara is a criminal defense attorney that I hope you never need. And in fact, if you do need an attorney for a DUI, DWAI, or that's like people who smoke marijuana and stuff, I guess they call it that, whatever. Any kind of hassle with a neighbor, you're accused of assault, whatever. Don't ever shop when you're under pressure and then you give a retainer, you don't know who you're talking to. Joe Lazara will do an initial consultation free and then a flat rate for the entire thing. I've known Joe for many, many years. Lazara, L-A-Z-Z-A-R-A. -Z -Z LazaraLegal.com or find him at referralist.com, 303-429-6200. 429-6200. Theartofgranite.com. What can I say about the art of granite? It says granite, but it means countertops. I should say the art of countertops. And what you can do is get a price today on whatever you want. They're, he's doing a lot of quartz. They do quartzite. They do marble. They do granite. They do any man-made materials, engineered. And you know what? They have cabinets too. And they have great incentives. If you call today, you can get a price on the phone. Plus, find out how to get 25% off. That's right. You can do that with a cabinet order. Or you can get 
15% off your countertops alone. Call and find out more. 303 386 5919. 303 386 5919. Okay. Okay, hang tight. Tommy, guess who's on? Who? Drew from New Jersey. Oh my God, I love it. Is Mark there? Mark's there. He's in the middle of admin stuff. Okay. But right. uh, anyway, he's putting out a new book. Oh my God. About how um, organized religion is evil and Good. and God is real. I don't know, something like that. All right. Thanks. But anyway, did you take the W 2 call yet? Not yet. Okay, I told him he had one call ahead of him. All right. Uh, hey, Chopper, would you tell Mark to check his email? Or just, yeah. All right, thanks, Chopper. Mark, check your email. <laughs> From your wife. <laughs> From your wife. She said. From the boss. A.K.A. Boss. <laughs> Drew's back. 1A play. Yep. He hasn't called in a while. John Libby. We're all excited. I got it. In, oh, it's easy today. It took me every try. I, I, I got it on the last try, try today. Um, hey, Chopper, tell Mark Drew from New Jersey's on the line. Drew from New Jersey's on the line. Yeah. She wants you to pay attention. I figured that would excite him. Drew's back. Not today. <laughs> He's all doing that boring stuff right now. Drew might be on to something. Dang right, Case. And he still sounds the same, everybody, just so you know. I'm trying to talk Mark into Tasty Pot. Mark, you have to take Sue to Tasty Pot. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's like my peanut, or I'm sorry, Chopper's like my peanut gallery. <laughs> well, I've been bugging him since January, and he was all on his dumb no-carb diet, and we couldn't go. Then we were out of town. And not cases kind of tasty pot. <laughs> I think cheesecake is no carbs. Well, there are some no carb cheesecakes out there. I think they most have a little bit of sugar in them. If yeah. you don't read the ingredients, it's okay. It doesn't count. <laughs> hey, Chopper, on your on the apple you gave me, it's so beautiful. I'm saving it for my road trip. But it's so pretty, I don't want to eat it. It's so gorgeous. They were big. <laughs> I'm about to kill those My Little Ponies up on the shelf, Jeff. They're like... <laughs> yeah, I don't... Reiner, Kelly put those up there. Oh, yeah, it's some sort of weird running joke around here. <laughs> Case. <laughs> Ten seconds do with your retirement find out on retirement realized radio with chad owen saturday at 3 p.m and sunday at 9 a.m on 6 30 k how denver's talk station hi tom martino here 303 talk hey david uh, you got a w-2 issue what's going on with your w-2 this shouldn't be a problem um, usually this is taken care of what's going on uh, so, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Where are you? I'm my, uh, oh, there you go. Go ahead. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Here. Go ahead. I hear you. Um, so, uh, basically, um, my, uh, my old job, which is King Supers, uh, I now work somewhere else, but, uh, basically I worked for them for about a week to two weeks into, uh, last year. 
and uh, they recently switched to online only for D W. Sorry, for W twos. I almost said D W two um, for some reason. Um, but uh, they uh, are trying to have us. Uh, they're trying to have us go through uh, uh, a website called. Uh, I actually have it right here. Here it is. Uh, MyTaxForm.com. Yeah. Um, every time I try and register in yeah. order to get my W-2. Yeah, got it. Uh, the, ta- the, um, the website doesn't send the registration code to my phone uh-huh. until like four hours after I'm locked out of the, of the website. That's weird. And the best way I can describe it is uh, I uh, try uh, to uh, log in or register. Um, and uh, by the time that the code comes in, I've already tried getting new codes and new codes. And no, so man. It it, so out. did you contact but, them to t- the website people? Did you contact them to tell them? What, yes. What did I've they come, say? I've talked to the website people. Is I've this, is this, to, is this uh, Kroger the, doing this or King Supers? Kroger and King Supers because Kroger is, well, King Supers is a subsidiary. Uh, no, name I, I get of, that, uh, but, but I'm looking on this website and there's no record. They, have, they don't have Kroger as one of the selections. And I'm, I'm just wondering how the hell you did this. I mean, I'll try um, it again. Well, King Supers, uh, so I've talked to the King Supers uh, corporate. Uh, they told me to go to that website to get my W-2. Then uh, when I was having issues with uh, getting my W-2 on that website, I contacted the website's uh, service uh uh, phone number, which uh, the website's defective. They weren't able brother. to help me. The we- the website, I truly is. It seems okay. I see King Supers Kroger, and then you just hit it, and it gives you the number. I mean, I'm t- uh, okay. So mm-hmm. far, what do you? So what do they say is wrong when you put in your their their number? Uh, so I put in their number. It uh, gives me my. Uh, it tells me to put in my name, uh, all that, in the email that I was uh, you, that I had registered with King Super yeah. when I worked with them. And and you and you simply can't I, you simply can't log in. Is that and right? And my phone number. I can't even register to log in. I see. When you put in the number. They say no employers found with that number. That's what I'm getting, and that's the King Supers number that they gave me. So I can th- whatever this. Yeah, and and you know what's weird about this site? Uh, unlike any other site, there are no places mm-hmm. to contact anyone. Yeah, I know, and I had to actually Google the the freaking uh, Kroger website or uh, Kroger corporate number to get. A number to that website. Okay. Did you call the customer? Ser- did you call the customer service for that website? Yes, and they said they would look into it, and I have and I've contacted them again uh, right. about. Here, let me let me later. just go to the short they form. Could not do let anything. me go to the short form. How much? Uh, if you can't get a W two by the tax deadline, the IRS says to estimate, and that's it. Okay, because I have the I have the uh, um, my uh, bank statement from that uh, year that has the. But do you know how much uh, how much was taken out in taxes? Do you know how much was taken out in taxes? No, I don't. That's the problem. Well, you if you estimate, I'm telling you, like whatever your gross was. And then estimate whatever mm-hmm. tax bracket. I'm serious. That they're, they're, you're not going to get penalized, and it's not going to come back to haunt you. You may get a notice someday saying, you know, we matched a W two. We can't see it, but they'll see the same employer, and you make the adjustment then. But there won't be a penalty. You can't. There, okay. are, there are a lot of people that can't get W twos, and their instructions have always been to estimate. 
Now, you can call the IRS okay. and make a complaint as well, um, but I can't believe Kroger is not doing anything about this. So Kroger has apparently, as of uh, the year of 2024, uh, as of January of 2024, they are uh, uh, they have switched to online only. No, I get WC. that, man. I get that. But they still have to help you get it or send you a PDF or something mm -hmm. if you can't get it. And, t and tell them you're going to the IRS, and I would go to the IRS anyway. But, but again, the last ditch is this, okay? Number one, you go to them and you ask them to send you a PDF because the site is not working. Call the IRS and tell them the site is not working. You cannot get a W-2 no matter what you do. And then estimate the amount of gross and then do the tax bracket percentage for state and federal and just estimate that's all you have to do to avoid penalties again who cares it may never come back to haunt you i have more coming up don't forget fixmyhome.com 20 it's 24 dollars and seven cents for the extreme clean of your ac check and tune and by the way if you've never had it done you're crazy you can increase efficiency by 30 percent <laughs> Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by College Invest. A couple slowdowns throughout the center of town for the early afternoon commute. I-25 northbound at Alameda. Crash has been moved over to the right shoulder. We're still seeing some slow driving back from Santa Fe. Only a minute or two of delays. Not too bad there. Up on the northeast end of town through Commerce City, I-270 westbound at Vasquez. Road work in the right lane has stop and go traffic back from I-70. This one we're seeing about a 10-minute delay. Further east and south of DIA, E-470 northbound. Watch out for some road work just after Peña Boulevard. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, mostly sunny skies. Another warm one today. High 66, overnight low of 35. Some clouds rolling in tomorrow with a high of 62. The current temperature in Denver is 63 degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. 15 seconds. Season, which could be saving season if you open a college savings account with College Invest. Not only will you be saving for college, you could earn a Colorado income tax deduction for 2024. Start saving today at collegeinvest.org. All right. You know, I, uh, I'm really a fan of Lazy Days because they're, it's Lazy Days RV because it's an amazing organization. LazyDays.com. You'll see why they call themselves the RV Authority. We're talking about new, used, every class you can think of, from the big motorhomes to pop-up campers to bumper pulls to uh, fifth wheels. Really good stuff and a great service department, giant service facility at exit 240 and I-25. That's LazyDays.com. You know, people, when they look for investments, look for security many times, growth, and income. And you can get that from my money, myway.com to find out more. Joe Keanu and his family of financial advisors, he's a financial advisor, will walk you through the fixed indexed annuities they represent. Don't listen to anyone who says annuities are all bad. They're not. They're not all good either. He has some Joe that can help you with guaranteed returns, guaranteed no loss, guaranteed no loss on gains or principal, and guaranteed income. Find out more, 303-779-6600, 779-6600. resdenver.com is the, the only place I'll have in my house for carpets, and they have really good stuff going on for March. 109 bucks. Get you a free hallway and three rooms cleaned and $75 off duct cleaning. Did you know they use what's called ZR water? Really what it is is the most purified, wonderful, soft water, the best cleaning agent in nature, by the way. And they do it all with a patented uh, cleaning technique. You never feel like there's anything on your carpet. It feel, they feel like new, that soft, wonderful feeling, no dirt attracting residue. That's why they call zero res, no matter how you spell it, backwards or forward, it says zero res. So contact zeroresdenver.com, 303-471-5150. It's the marketer's report. It's a truck stop. Capital One's keyboard. Well, not here. Mark, there's a signage to drive in. Am I hearing Shannon? I thought we only had to put up with him once in a while. 
This is that once in a while. But yeah, tell him we want. I want Freddie forever. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm down. I have to sign something. <laughs> Freddie's going to be the man. Oh, he said, Fred, he said Freddie's going to be the man or something. Okay, gotcha. So this, go ahead. Okay, so listen, since we're in the last few minutes of the show, oh, clearly we're not going to have time on the air for this, but I would like an email ahead of time. Can you or someone or he or someone email me more specific specifics about what's going on, and I'll see how we can best move forward? It is Suzanne. That's S-U-S-A-N-N-E. -S been using three. I'll pull three back at troubleshooter.com and be sure to leave phone a phone number in the email and um just sort of you know a little bit of backstory what they need help with um and then we'll figure out how we can move forward in assisting this person okay you, okay yeah and i i definitely want to look into it and see what we can do Okay, I'll look for that email. Thank you. Bye bye. Troubleshooter Show, what is your first name? I'm just getting to the point. Well, she was on hold, and then he wanted me to call her back. Then we got busy. We're in the last five minutes, so I'm going to call her tomorrow for the show and see what he wants to do. Thank you, darling. Bye. Tom just called Shannon a menstrual cycle. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad motorcycle shock for women. Welcome to the menstrual cycle. What can I show you? Who did? I subbed who called Shannon a menstrual cycle. Who did? Oh, uh, One of our people. Case on YouTube said you just said that. I just thought it was oh, funny oh, when oh, I read oh, it on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I missed it because I was on the phone. Hey, is Drew still there? <laughs> Drew is, of course he is, Tom. Oh my God. <laughs> Drew's always there. Drew's always there. All right, 10 seconds. Always drive the right way. I listen to Dan Kaplis. With Dan Kaplis. Afternoons at 4 on 630 KHOW. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter, 303-713-TALK, 703-8255. A quick note, Dan Kaplis, you know, was at Channel 4, started there, and I took him to radio and started his radio career with him. And um, he and I were both aligned f philosophically. And our ideas haven't changed since then that much. Yet back then we were considered liberal. How does that happen? I know people who have kept the same exact ideas from the 60s till now. We were considered liberal, and then it morphed into being more conservative. I don't understand it. It's, how did that happen? I, I didn't change. I, Tom, I, stand for the, the, I stand for exactly the same stuff I did. The zeitgeist of the, of the, of the uh, country has changed. There was something on YouTube the other day where they showed a uh, State of the Union speech that, that Bill Clinton gave, and he was railing against illegal immigration, that we have to deport them, they need to be, they need to be controls, the exact same thing that Trump is saying now, except Bill Clinton was considered a liberal and Trump is considered a joke. Yeah. Hey, Drew is on the line from New Jersey. I've known Drew yeah. since I was on WABC, the 50,000-watt blowtorch in New York City and beyond, and uh, he's kept in touch with our show. What's going on, Drew? Well, first of all, you won a big victory in New York City and the stock market scandal. Thank you. Uh, what's going on now, Tom, and I hope all is well, 
with you, Suzanne, and the other gentlemen, is that we are putting out a new book that proves that God is true. I can tell you one of the quick proofs, and that organized religion is false and corrupt. It what's is not the, what's the name God. of your book, Drew? God is true. Religion is false. God is true. Religion <laughs> is false. That'll raise some eyebrows. Where are you selling it? It's right now. It's on Amazon. And the author name, which a woman gave to me when I was preaching, is Carrie Blessing. She said, use this name. So it's not under Drew. It's under Carrie Blessing. Ah, okay. Cute name. And I'm looking for it here. I'm trying hey, to Drew, find did you autograph both copies that you sold? Wait, I see it. A Kindle edition here. I may download that. Carrie Blessing, C A R Y. A cool uh, pseudonym. What were you saying? Or what were you saying? A pen name, I mean. What were you saying? A doc? Okay, I can tell oh, you. I asked Drew if he uh, autographed both of the Sorry. copies that he sold. What do you mean, both of the copies? What are you talking about? I was being facetious about you know, the yeah, because about the meat because about the book because you're a meanie. That's why. Tom, I can tell you one of the proofs. Would you like to hear it quick? Go ahead. Fourteen ninety two, Columbus sailed the blue, and people figured out that the Earth was round. Three thousand years before fourteen ninety two, it's in the Holy Bible. The Earth is round. Around, around the circumference, I know, the circle of the Earth, right? I, I read that, I know. There's a lot of other things, too, but... The that, Greeks that, and the Romans figured it out, Drew, hey, well before hey, uh, um, the Bible. That was before the Bi That was before the Romans there, you heathen. By the way, <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, don't forget, 303-Martino, 303-627-8466, and you'll get help, leave a message. Also, fix it 24-7, fixmyhome.com, remember that, for... For uh, twenty twenty four dollars and seven cents. Follow Tom Martino. See ya. Bye, Real Tom Martino. And